welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Isolation D&D Part 4. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! And, and a, big, a big shout out to... <laughs> A big shout out to Dungeons and Dragons, Wizards of the Coast themselves for sponsoring the streams. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, at yeah. least uh, they're, Wizards of the Coast. They're they're oh. trying they're trying to encourage other people to start playing D and D while in isolation as well, and so much so they've given a whole lot of their resources away for free Wait, on the website. Adam, can you say that price again? That price, Ellen, is free. Oh wow! I can afford that. It is free. Even I can afford that! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe the price of that, that's amazing! Did you hear it's free, Rowan, it's free! <laughs> and this is what your hard-earned dollars are uh, paying for. <laughs> please, please, just keep paying. But, now, <laughs> but if you've ever thought about playing content, D&D, content. if you've ever thought about playing D&D, now's the best time, because you're it all locked is. inside. And yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Roll20, uh, is yeah. a great little platform to have. Oh, yeah. I, I notice a lot of people ask uh, in the comments, and we're not able to, well, we're yeah, not easily able to reply while we're playing. Um, this platform is called Roll20, if you guys want to check it out. Um, yeah. It, it's a cool little platform to be able to play d Also, free, 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 free. It's free. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> Um, so ch- check it out. There's a link to there's a link to uh, the Dungeon Dragons website with all their free resources on uh, the, in the link in the description. So uh, check it out. There it is. So check ch- it ch- out. Check it now, out. Now we want to do a really quick recap, Rob. Where where we're at? Sure thing. So uh, welcome back to the world of Azarim, oh, the world of the epic oh. NPC men. It's good to be here. Um, so very quick. Cre- Quick re- ba- recap. Oh god, this doesn't bode well. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did your vocal warm ups, Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 together. One of my vocal warm ups is drinking a lot, a lot of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> so we started. Yeah, maybe skip in, that part. We started here in the city of Alderkeep, a city of elves and humans alike. Uh, our our intrepid adventurers, our five uh, ragtag bunch, got together and set off north because they heard the city of Wraith was in trouble. Mm. And boy, did we get there quick. We better rush as as to race, guys. Right. In, the first, in the first day, they've made it as far as, far as this river before <laughs> getting attacked by Zvats. Um, for some reason, uh, Barb, the tiefling among them, could understand what the Zvats were saying, despite them speaking in some sort of uh, underworld language. Um, then they, the next day, they made it as far as this village, the, uh, the small, small village of Woodstop, where they... Uh, encountered a shady individual who ended up stabbing Barb in the stomach and almost killing him. That's right. Who yeah, ended up being right. the one that kind of saved her life in that one moment? Probably me. Healing. Yeah, 100% was... Ben. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Ben, ben healed, ben healed uh, number 14. Got the, the most uh, got member of that was... Zaza. Zaza, <laughs> Zaza had been incapacitated for a round with hideous laughter. To be uh, fair, the hideous, hideous laughter did probably help. Definitely. As well. I, I hadn't accounted for that, so it was pretty. And, and can we can we acknowledge that I'm the one that found there was a window? Yes. I'm the one that found the window. Hey, hey, you hey, hey. You were the first person to think plans. about the. You were the first person to mention the window, but I'd already thought about the window too, mate. <laughs> don't try and don't try and take my phone. Mate. He's stealing I've been it. He's stealing about it. About the whole week sitting in that in that thing, going, I wonder if there's a window where I can at least see. <laughs> Liar. Absolutely true. Lies. Absolutely true. <laughs> I provided you all with We're the opportunity still in the recap. to talk about this. <laughs> and so, continue wrong. And go wrong. <laughs> and they managed to defeat this strange shady monster before he managed to kill Barb uh, and discover that he was actually a secretly made warforged. Um, number 14 mm. thought he was only one of 20 of, uh, uh, ever created. Turns out there was a 21st created. And he was, uh, he was number 14's brother created by the same inventor. And number 14 uh, fittingly actually killed his brother, yes. his long lost brother that he didn't know he had. Um, and then, and now and then I him. cried about his death. I went, <laughs> <laughs> and then he And then he decided to uh, to carry his dead brother's corpse with him That's for right. the rest of the game. Um, and, and, will continue, and will continue to do so. Even after the rest of them had already looted anything worth taking. Um, <laughs> So then they set off north. Oh, sorry. Then they met a, a eunuch from the city of Wraith who told them that it, it is it is not worth going to the city of Wraith now. You guys, you guys are way late. 
Not only are you really late, but the army of Alderkeep, who set off the morning after you guys set off, have already made it there um, and managed to push out the orcs. So now there's no orcs there, but there's at least smoldering ruins um, of, of rice. Um, We're not the best heroes, are we? <laughs> We're only level three, admittedly. Oh, man. <laughs> and so, and so you you just you you decided maybe it's not worth going to the city of Wraith until the eunuch happened to mention that the reason that they were overrun by orcs was that there was a plague of the mind, a sickness that that corrupted people and made them just just give in to their base desires and and, and indulge in debauchery I, and hedonism. And you said that sounds like a fun time. And they set off I for the city of Wraith. Nor, 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 nor did I. I'm really taking a brief brief moment to say that this history of Wraith is not canon. This is like <laughs> the giant orgy in the city of Wraith is not canon. I can't embrace that. Everything is canon, so. man. You gave me I you gave me full it. creative control over this world when you gave it it's to me. It's not canon. There's not an orgy of the mind. Hey, I, told you, I, told, you, I told you. I told you. I told you. Hey, you, you tell me if well, there's well, anything if that you, you, if you're gonna make whenever you come up with something just a giant orgy, we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> give you the limits of your creative control. Okay? No, I I have a feeling that we're or at least some people here. Uh, um, are interpreting it as an orgy. Yeah. And Why do you tell us exactly what it is? As an or orgy. Well, I said maybe, it, was, okay. it, was a, it was a sickness of the mind that corrupted the people, even the, the strongest wills, into uh, giving in to their basely desires, some yeah. of which is sexual, but yeah, a plague orgy. most of which is anything to do with hedonism and debauchery and just giving in yeah. to your anything that you want to do. You're, you're hungry, you go and eat. Doesn't matter if you haven't paid for it, you just eat. If you yeah. feel like gambling, you gamble. If you feel like drinking, you drink. There's, it doesn't matter what time of day it is or what your duties are. It doesn't matter whether you're the guard of the city or whether you're the prince. The uh, people gave into it. Uh, left Basically, left right. it's it's what lockdown is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, and so, people were neglecting their duties in favor of their their own um, yeah. their own needs. Okay. And and so. That's what does you, does, that, does that include like eating yourself to being too full and drinking yourself to being too drunk and maybe you'll find out when you get there. Oh, oh okay. <clears throat> Let's go to so the you're on your way to the city of Wraith and uh, you got to within about an hour's of uh, an hour of the city where you crested a, a hill and sort of can see the city in the distance and then as you're walking through a small wooded uh, wooded area uh, a, a bunch of uh, jackals wandered out onto the path. Oh, and started right. kind of acting a little bit Mysterious. So your mm. resident veterinary, <laughs> veterinarian who can uh, who can speak with animals, started to walk forward. But as he did, he noticed that they were talking about you and seemingly setting up an ambush. Um. Uh, and then when they realised that they could be overheard and their 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 cover was blown, um, one of them decided to reveal his true form, uh, that of a jackal weir. Um, it's a jackal. A, it's a jackal. It's a jackal. A, a jackal weir. Uh, a jackal weir. <laughs> All right, Ben, we're, we're, we're about to get into it. Ben, you need to get into character, mate. Oh, yeah, sorry. A jackal there. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. There you go. <laughs> That's the smaller than usual. <laughs> oh, let's go. All right. So, um, can everybody make a perception check for me, please? Oh, no. All except okay. being Alfie. Oh, fine. First You're already roll of the Alfie day. Hey, hey, hey. Perception. There we go. Don't forget to select your characters first. Not for so. perception, I don't think. No, no, not, not for perception. You can just. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, definitely. Don't worry about it. <laughs> go me. All right, Brett. Yeah, go Brett. Yeah, well. Whoa. <laughs> go, so, go Barbara. as this as this happens, uh, and and Alfie walks forward, this it, there's just something triggers in your mind. Something feels familiar about these jackals, and you're not you're not sure why, but you feel like they answer to you. I don't, I don't I see Ben's like... uh, perception check. He yeah, didn't, didn't ben, didn't, ben didn't oh, need to sorry, make one because he's up the front and he's dealing Gosh. with that. So, Listen, so, Britt, mate. <laughs> so Britt, if you'd like to, uh, if you'd like to zoom your thing out, Britt, so that you can see off to your left. Sure thing. Oh. You notice as as um, as Alfie walks forward to talk to these things, uh, you notice there's a few more walk out from oh. the bushes. Oh, and, oh guys. Uh, Oh. And you realise that you're you're walking into an ambush. Oh no, this is the left out. side of the plane. Just as just as you <laughs> notice them walk out, um, and one of one of whom is in somewhat of a humanoid form, um, you then hear uh, a sort of a guttural, guttural growl from the one at the front, who shouts in a language that Alfie can understand. Um, Looks like our ambush is blown. Let's get him. And I need you all to roll initiative. So this oh, is where you click on your token. 
Oh, oh. shit. Oh. So click on your tokens, and then click on initiative on your character sheet. Uh, 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 initiative. Oh, yes. Hell, yes. Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, I did, a, I did a good one. I did a good one. <laughs> I did a one. <laughs> I'll do it in just a minute. My 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 roll twenty is just being problematic currently. Oh dear. No, there Don't is. Worry. Natural one. Get there. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So three point one. Adam, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody descending order. All right. So <laughs> Todok. So you are up the front, Alan. You you're already a bit a little bit on edge because you're um you're expecting orcs in the region. Uh, and you're ready for a fight, so you're already walking with your, your uh, weapons in hand. And then when the jackals walked out, you, you, you felt that they weren't really acting like the, you've seen the, uh, the wildlife of the area act before, so you were already a little bit wary. Mm. And then sure enough, when one of them transforms into this, this half-man, half-jackal creature in front of you, you mm. are ready to go. What do you do? Time for fun! <laughs> I... Oh, God. I... Oh, I wonder if I should range attack but no alfie's already right there in the thick of it i'm just going to charge this um this guy right in front of alfie the big dude all right do it uh yeah, kick okay. his ass, ass i got him i got him okay there and i'm going to use my uh two-handed battle axe on this dude nice has brit's token disappeared entirely oh no i'm for some reason i'm down Oh, you're done. <laughs> what are you doing? All right. So, turn to battle axe. Yep. Oh, not good. Uh, no, seven will not hit, unfortunately. So, you take a swing at this thing, and rather nimbly, it dives to the side. And you see that there's a, a sort of rattling of chains as it as it moves to the side. It's got manacles uh, in one hand. Oh. Mm. Not on one hand, in one hand. He's holding some yeah. like um, um, on one hand. Okay, maybe a, I'll... Do you get a second attack? Yeah, I'm going to action surge this guy. Action surge, nice. Uh, so again with the turn to battle axe. All right, yeah, 17. Yeah. So you, he dives oh, to the side, yeah. and you quickly use the, use the momentum, you swing it back around the front and drive it down across him. Uh, yeah. it, hits his, it hits his torso and does no damage to him. Nice. What?! Oh. It hits him square on, like he doesn't dodge it. It hits him, and it should have it should have cut into him pretty pretty uh, hard, but it does no damage. Literally. All right, we're in trouble, everybody. Literally zero damage. Zero damage. The oh. eleven, 11 well, slashing damage it should on. have done. It should Guys, have done yeah, Torok, Torok turns it, back to the crew, and he's just like he raises his arms, like. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> you have, yeah, you, you know. You, that if if you nice. hit him off with that, oh. it, it would have been very close to this cutting its head clean off. Was but, a good hit. Yeah. This Guys, was, yeah. Huh. This is a good hit. Has anyone got maybe they're like illusions or something? Zaza, yeah. uh, you're up. Right. Do you want to do some uh, investigating? Well, I was going to say, let's just get the hell out of here. Um, but should I do some sort of illusory? I'm trying to think about my abilities. Um, and just so you, I think I heard somebody say, what if, what if, what if it's an illusion? Um, yeah. It definitely hit, like it, it hit into solid person, and it wasn't a... No, no, I'm not interested in finding out. Let's get out of here. So I'm casting Fog Cloud. Oh, nice. Um, and I'm going to cast it. Uh, uh, I, I think I, I should have forget where I'm going to cast it first. Um, I'm, I'm going to basically cast it. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've got fog cloud, if you remember, in your journal. Yeah. Or I can do it. So I'm gonna whack it. There it is. So you Take can grab your spells and drag it onto the. Pitch. Oh, I cast it at level. What what level am I? Level two? Can I cast it at level two? Uh, yeah, you've got level one spells and level two spells. Level two just means it increases the radius of it a little bit. Okay. If you want to see how how big it is first, I can just pop that there. That's a oh, level yeah. one. And oh, if yeah. it's level and if it's level two, it would be uh, about. That big. Whoa! Okay, so level two Holy yeah, moly. Moly. the moon, man. It might, yeah, about there is good. And, and, and then I basically want to uh, head off this way. Sweet. All right. So, Ron, we've just lost your camera. I don't know if you know. It's, it's back. It's back for me. Oh, it's not for me. I'll refresh. Um, so uh, as as uh, you run forward and you take a strike off at this thing, you sort of turn to raise your hands at the at, at the rest of the group, Torok, and you see uh, emanating from um, Zaza's hands. One, two, three, Zaza. So we go, sir. Right, the David 
Bowie. Um, <laughs> or, uh, what are they called? Contact juggling. Uh, yeah. motion. <laughs> fog cloud. Zaza one. Zaza two. <laughs> Zaza fog cloud. <laughs> and then this, this, it's just this torrent of, uh, of, of burst from his fingers like a like a uh, like a high pressure hose until it just fills this huge radius around them and all of you are considered blinded. <laughs> all of you That's are exactly considered how I imagine it. <laughs> all right. Um, so then you for your movement, Zaza, uh, you wish uh, to you wish to move somewhere, right? Uh, this way. How far can I go? <laughs> Well, let me uh, let me pop this to the back so that I can actually see your characters. But you guys remember that you are blinded while you were in this fog cloud. Thankfully, they are as well. Um, so uh, you can move off in that direction. You you slam straight into uh, number fourteen and kind of walk around him. Eventually, <laughs> you, eventually yeah. you manage to make your way around. Uh, you've got thirty feet movement, right? Yeah. So you can get to about there. Okay. Oh man, it feels like less. Maybe I'm just too zoomed out. Uh, mm. I thought it was doing more than that. No. I no, I just I just measured it. You remember how? Yeah, 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 you're right. I think, no. I think from, that my from that idea to the direct would was... be 25, but you had to go around this guy. Okay. 30. Look. All right. All right. Um, nothing <laughs> you want to Probably do. Like, bonus damn. action. Jack. Jack's turn. Jack the jackal. Here. Um. So <laughs> he is going to. Not do what he was going to do because now he can't see. So he is going to try and fumble in the dark. He knows roughly where you are, um, uh, Todok, because you just mm -hmm. attacked him. Mm -hmm. So he is going to fumble in the dark, trying to uh, slap the manacles on your wrists. So can you uh, make an opposed athletics check, please? Athletics versus his athletics. Oh, pretty good. You got pretty this. Good. You get, you got, got this. this. You got this, Torak. You, yeah, you can do you it. Definitely, you definitely are stronger than him uh, this time. So you, you feel him sort of scrabbling out. He seems to miss your arm, and by the time he's got your um, wrist, you've wrenched it away. Uh, so that was his main action. There's nothing he can do. He's going to start to move. I think. No, he, shou he, 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 he shouts out something. Uh, he shouts out something in the common tongue, saying, um, uh, "Stop them getting round from the back." Uh, and then none of you can see it because you are not uh, you're not able to see anything at the moment. Damn it! Right. We will something will happen there, and then it is the jackal's turn. All right, oh, so the jackal's turn. Jesus, um, her turn. A lot of jackals. <laughs> so the jackals will start to spread out, spread themselves out to make a perimeter, knowing that you are trying to get away. Oh, oh this is this um, is turning out great. Sneaky little jackals. <laughs> little, little bastards. All right, uh, and then it is, I believe, Alfie's turn. Right, so, Alfie, what are you doing? Right. Well, I do have a spell called Pass Without Trace. Yes, which helps you with stealth. Maybe. Yeah. Um, so if I cast that and then we moved out to the right, would that help us stealthily walk around them, or would they because they, they know we're here already? Is that kind of pointless? They do know that you're here, but if you are trying to stealth past them, if if you're trying to like sneak through their uh, perimeter, it doesn't make you invisible to them. So if you just yeah. break, if you if you're ever completely seeable, then they can still see you regardless of pass without a trace. But if you mm. are stealthing, then it it makes you super stealthy. Mm. It's up to you. Mm. Right now you are. Right now you are considered heavily obscured, which allows you to uh, take the hide action if you want, and then you can and then you can sneak away. Yeah, but right. Oh, as soon as you leave the fog on. cloud, there's potential that they'll I see just you. I just wonder if like this the top right jackal and the bottom jackal yeah. might see us if we Yeah, try I go. feel like they would. Eh? Can you throw um, out another smoke grenade, just like in PUBG, like it create like a little <laughs> like, <laughs> smoke tunnel? I probably I could uh -huh. uh, maybe my next turn I could just keep getting this smoke things getting us yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, crank out another smoke. If you, know, we, we, we gotta get to right. If yeah, you look at I don't that, have time for this shit. If you look at the uh, the description of fog cloud, you'll see that duration says concentration up to one hour. You can only concentrate on one spell at a time. So if you oh, cast another fog cloud, this one will just finish. Bro, that's, that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I do all the spells all the time, all at once? Yeah, man. <laughs> Should we just should we just hide should we just hide in here for an hour and then they'll get sick of, and then just leave? Just, 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 just play the way. I, I think guys. we should go to sleep. Can we put go to sleep now? <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just gonna have a start start a long rest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Oh, Jesus. All right, Alfie, no what you do? I have no idea what the hell. You, know, to you do. do know roughly where the guy is because he was running at you. Right, but, right. Okay. But, so you can take an attack. Um, uh, yeah, but this, the bloody uh, great Goliath just hit him with a battle like it did nothing. What am I going to do? Smack him on the kneecap with a bit of wood? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, uh, maybe, maybe his kneecaps is his weakness. <laughs> yeah, hey, Ben, Ben, can yeah. you make an intelligence check for me, please? Sure. I'm very intelligent. I just checked. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've seen. All right. So let me ask you guys as players, the five of you, what do you what do you guys know about uh, the lore of werewolves in real life? Uh, anyone got any silver? silver. Oh. What, what, what hey. if we got... Throw coins at them. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I got... Yeah. Ben, we with, a 14, with a 14 intelligence save, you remember that you picked up a particularly shiny uh, short sword from the Zvart warlock that was trying oh, to hurt you. Okay, and well, I in the, t- in, the, in the time that you have been walking, you have inspected it, let's say, and found yeah. that it was coated in silver. Right. Good, good work, Ben. Oh, man, I'm so <laughs> glad I remembered that. I'm so glad that you take, took the time to investigate the particularly nice things that I gave you as loot. Yeah, that might come in handy exactly. later in the session. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I'm so glad. I was I about did that. to recommend that you do this, but I <laughs> thought we should just escape first. Okay, great. So was that the scimitar? Yes. All right. So I used the scimitar. You, you, you've heard stories of werewolves, obviously, because you've grown up yeah. in a world where these bad guys actually exist, and so you've yeah, heard stories exactly. about them. You know that they uh, vulnerable to silver uh, silvered weapons. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, I bet this guy's vulnerable to silver. And luckily, the scimitar I picked up is silver, because I looked at it earlier. <laughs> so, Adam, so you um, before you upload this to YouTube, just uh, cut straight to that bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Recommending yeah. of it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, great, great. Yeah, great. Okay. Uh, so I, 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 I slowly walk forward a little bit until I can touch him. I go, oh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> you you there feel some is. fur? Okay, that feels like a kneecap. Hacha! <laughs> nice. Um, uh, so I, atta- I, what do I click there? Attack. Uh, yeah, attack. Yeah, you can just you can just roll a d twenty and add your strength modifier. What's your strength? Uh, my strength is zero. Yeah. So just a straight straight d twenty. <laughs> okay. As. Nice. What? <laughs> nice. Oh, it rolled it again. Oh, for oh, fuck's sake. Lots of D20s, and the first one was a one. Oh, great. And the second one was a two. All right, so... Um, wow. So, come on, Elfie. What about a roll, so mate? Walk forward until you feel like something that feels a, little, a bit like a kneecap. Torok, can you make a, a, oh, a no. dexterity saving throw, please? No! <laughs> Torok! I'm really sorry, Torok. Dexterity saving throw. Dexterity coming right up. I can't up. believe I rolled three d20s. I got a one, a two, and a two. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You, you walk forward until you feel a kneecap, and you're like, "This is it!" And you take a strike. <laughs> Thankfully, Torok, you feel Alfie's little hand on your kneecap. And, and I'm like, "Oh no, Torok!" Like, right. Alfie, you realise what's about to happen, yeah. and, and and tuck your knee out of the way as you feel a <laughs> whip past your leg. <laughs> oh, good. Sorry, Torok. Alfie, what do you do? What um, do you do? <laughs> As... I'm surrounded by fog. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Rob, <laughs> as, as a bonus turn, is Elfie able to throw me the sword? <laughs> In the middle of a pitch, uh, like fog? Where <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah, maybe. Are you going to try? That doesn't sound like a smart idea. Die, Adam. <laughs> okay, maybe. I really took out Talrock and you want me to fling the fucking sword? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, maybe that sounds like a bad idea. Oh, God. All right, Bob. Bob, it's now your turn. Unless Alfie, you want to move anywhere? Um, no, I think I'll, I think it's best to just stay here. Yeah, don't do well, anything else. I can't no, do anything, any of my spells because they all require me to be able to see things. So I'm I believe just gonna... you should be at full health, Bob. And you were only showing 17 from the fight, I think. What I'm is your 17. full health? Is it like 26 or something? I'm just yeah, I think it's 27. 27. I'm just going to move just over here. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bob, so you suddenly, go, you suddenly go blind from all this fog. Right. Bob, what do you do? I do something, no, Bob. I had a plan. I attack damage. Stay. Nothing that can help, really. You have, uh, you have right before Bobby, this happened, you did serious? see that there were Bob. others starting to come out of the trees 
to see your left oh, yeah. as well, but nobody uh, else has seen you. This all, this all happened, look to your left. And then there, you can't see anything, but just know that there's, there's some more of them to the left, everyone. Good oh. work, Bob. You're a valued member of the team. Good job. Thanks, Thanks for guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> If you look to your left, your you left can't see anything. Left. Like, what's <laughs> did, what, what did you um, pick up from the Zvarts, Brett? Maybe you got some well, silver shinies so I, as well. I, no, but I checked the thing before, and I, in, in Zvart it said rusty sword, so I didn't, I didn't yep, know. The, the, the other Zvarts all had just crappy, uh, rusty, long uh, okay. short swords, um, so no, but the main Zvart had crazy. a thing. You did happen to have, though, Brett, as you're sort of looking in your... Uh, uh, equipment you you happen to have investigated the uh, short sword that you were stabbed in the gut with if you right. remember rightly and that yeah. was <laughs> that was particularly well made and had runes uh, etched into the handle of it seemingly with What's some that? sort of I don't see that anywhere in my inventory. No, because you didn't write it in your equipment <laughs> but, Oh sure. But I'm telling you because I remembered that you picked it up Ah, look a sword Can I put it in there? <laughs> put it in your equipment right now, Brett uh, it's just, what use is this if I can't see? Let's be honest, I can't see it. How far? Yeah, I'm, I'm just telling you, you have it. Okay, that's great. It is, a, it it is a plus one, long, uh, plus one short sword, so okay. it is slightly easier to hit with and does a little bit more damage. And so Beautiful. you could you could dash out of the fog, Brit, and go to one of those jackals to the south of us. Or I could light a candle. I'm going to do that. You could. If got, you're in fog. Uh, it wouldn't necessarily uh, help. Oh, you don't know that? <laughs> yeah, I think he does, Brett. Right? I feel like he does, Brett. Right? Well, I've got I'm a lantern and a torch. The god of this so. world. <laughs> Would a lantern or a torch help at all? No. The same, same. No, you're in fog. I don't know. It's a dark <laughs> fog. Do you, I, I, light? <laughs> you, do, you carry, do you carry a fog <laughs> horn? Barb, no, I don't. Barb, I see you. Fum I see you're standing right next to me, and I put my yeah. hand out. I can tell you're fumbling with something. What is it you're fumbling with? Maybe pass it I to me. A candle? Do you want? <laughs> no, you are fumbling with something else before the candle. Oh, it's just a short. It's a short sword that I had in my inventory this whole time. Here you go. Take it. Oh, the whole hand. time. It was the one you were stabbed with. Thank, thank you very it's much. Got, I noticed yeah, it. I, I noticed this with. as the sword of my dead brother. Thank you very much. I'm going to take <laughs> it from you now. Your brother's a dick. Now Adam has I'm, I'm now going to write that into my inventory. <laughs> I like that he said that part in, in the, the robot voice as well. <laughs> it means that number 14 is actually saying that out loud. I have, I have a little logbook which I keep, which is my inventory. <laughs> it's now oh, best God. time to write in books. So, <laughs> it's now best time to write in books. Yes, so that was your yes, turn to fumble and hand off a sword. <laughs> Uh, number fourteen. It's now yours. What? Just uh, what is the name of the sword? So I can type it in my inventory. <laughs> uh, you can you can write uh, short sword uh, plus one short sword. A stabby old one. short or magic short. sword. Uh, magic sword. 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 I'm going to put in brackets. Magic. Okay. Cool. Right here. Um. Uh. How far can I get? I'm going to. I'm going to test this magic short sword on one of the ones below us. Although I don't necessarily know that these ones aren't. Yeah, uh, the small you, ones might not be. All you've heard is that Bob shouted, oh, there's some more coming out of the woods to our left. Uh, okay. I'm just going to step out of the, um, step out. I always, I always picture Warforged as Bastion from Overwatch. I'm like, go into sentry oh, mode! Yeah. Like, I just want <laughs> to, like, get into, like... Oh. Uh, I'm just going to step. So I'm just going to do my first 13 feet of movement just to step out of the, um... Uh, what you want to call it? Mm -hmm. uh, and... As you step out of it, you see that there's too much. Oh god damn oh, it! Great. Yeah. Good job. Well, get back in the fog. Back in the fog. <laughs> yeah. And and then I slowly oh, step god, back god. into the fog. You, you, you know also, that you, you know that to... Homer you know that Homer Simpson meme where yeah. he backs away. <laughs> <Yeah>. into... <laughs> I do that back into the fog. I should I should I should like point out that these are these are jackals like regular foxes effectively. Like you 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 as a warforged could easily take them. The you know, yeah. Some, some, why are you just kids Okay. Well, yeah. um, I, I so had a plan. I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying that to influence the decision. I'm just saying that, like, yeah, you would know that in the world. There's jackals out there that'll see us run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at well, all the Larry other. Jekyll's look at all the point. other jackals. <laughs> well, we we should escape that way. They can see us. I don't care. We should still escape. But what I take it's the escape won't work. Is it would? There's a whole lot of people there that can't see us over here. We would escape this way. But look at that jackal in the trees right there. So, so one jackal, we take him out. No, 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 take him out. Who cares? And he goes, <laughs> so my plan is, 
and that's all the other jackals know that we're there. Yeah, they have an excellent line of communication. So, I've... number 14, you step out of the fog. You've um, still got movement, you've still got an action, you've still got a bonus action. Okay, I'm going gonna, gonna to move up to uh, one of the jackals and just, like, take take it out. Take punch it out. it in the yeah. face, punch it right in no, the face. Oh. Can I get... Yes, I can get there. Ha ha ha. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna great axe down. Oh, I need to test first if oh the God. normal jackals are definitely normal. So I'm just gonna great axe it in the face. Great axe Jesus. it in the face. Right. Uh, That's so how I test animals around. Great axe, animal, well. animal, animal, animal. <laughs> It's a real animal. Uh, yeah, this is. That was a real animal, everybody. Yeah, it was my this. pet. <laughs> it definitely was a real animal. Um, yeah. You you obliterate oh. it instantly. Nice. Classic Adam. Kill no. It slices nicely into two pieces. Everyone, I have found out that the, no the jackals are normal jackals. I now have two pieces of jackal. <laughs> in your inventory? Or... <laughs> and I'm going to put it into my inventory. <laughs> I, am, I, am now, I am now writing it. Not equipping everything. I am now writing it. I am now writing it into my logbook. It is now in my inventory. <laughs> That's so disturbing. That's nasty. Number 14, stop picking up every dead you body we You don't need to take everything <laughs> with you. Well, so, you're going to slow us down. down in bonus well. action, any more movement? Uh, I'm just going to step uh, over... How far can I go as a bonus action? Um, not not as a bonus action. I'm saying, do you want? Uh, do you have anything to do as a bonus action, oh, or okay. have any more movement? I've got another like seven or eight feet. I think. I want. I wonder if I can get to this dude over here. Damn. Yeah, you've got. You're all right. So you can get to. You can get to about there. -ish. About there. Uh, yeah, about other side of the path here. Okay. Uh, oh, can Can you? Well, I'm gonna. Move, I'm, okay. gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna move. do that. And then I'm going to also charge up my. Uh, uh, maybe I don't. Maybe it's not going to be any use. Never mind. I was going to charge up my uh, my what to call thunder smite, but I don't think it's going to be any use. Dorok, you're up. What were you saying, Zaza? Um, oh, oh, can can you move, attack, and then move again? Yeah, you can always you can split your movement however you want. Oh, I didn't realize move, it. I'm so you can move five dang. feet and then do an attack and then move the rest of your feet. Yeah. Um, Torok, he looks towards um, Alfie and he's like, you got this. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, he, <tried> he... <laughs> he looked down, down at your general kneecap direction and oh, yeah, he's, he's, the Alfie's still swinging away at my kneecaps and I'm like, I believe in you. I'm nearly got him! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And I go, I b believe you can do this and I leave him and I go for this jackal right here. All right, so you remember seeing that there was a jackal in the fog right before the fog happened, so you yeah. head in that direction. Um, can you make an attack with disadvantage, because you're kind of guessing at where the jackal is? Yeah, sure thing. Attack with disadvantage. Here we go. Ooh. With, with disadvantage, that is enough to hit and also enough to kill. So you oh, kind of swipe, 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 swipe. And, and with your large, uh, large long arms and a large long uh, battle axe as well, you you're just covering such yeah. a large radius that you sl eventually hit into something and you feel the jackal. Ah! Yeah, nice. Is is nice. A, an ex jackal? Real nice. Nice. So they have All less right, than six your, health. Good. Nice. That was your attack, Torok. Uh, you've still got some movement if you want to just keep moving. Uh, you've also got a, a bonus action if you've got anything you can do as a bonus. Um. No, not really. I'm wondering if I just... I'm just going to charge out of the fog towards the rest of these jackals over here. All right. So um, use the rest I'm of your moving. movement. Uh, t -t 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 -t. All right. As you leave his space, he swipes out in your general direction, but unable to see you, he doesn't hit you. Um, Dorok is done. Zaza, you're up. Right. I'm out Nobody's of here. I, are you, are you still going? Okay, <laughs> bye! <laughs> I, mean, I reckon we can deal with these. These guys are so squishy. Yeah, but what about the werejackals that, you know, are impervious to pain You're... apart from my scimitar? <laughs> and I'm clearly not the best fighter. <laughs> you <laughs> deal just, with yeah. it, mate. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, mate. What well, are you doing, Zaza? Oh, it's become apparent that no one's joining me on the retreat. So I really was. Cool. I stayed oh, still, you... but... Oh, you, you come out the, That's the, not how you retreat, though. The retreating direction, mate. Uh, <laughs> I'm retreating uh, by staying still. I thought um, we were waiting I've, for an hour. Was that a joke? Yeah, in, my, <laughs> in my inventory, I've got a, a, a scroll case of a cloud of daggers. I don't yes. know how that works. It's a spell. 
that you can use as as an action as if it as if you had it uh, in your uh, spellbook and prepared. You can use it once and it's a consumable; it's gone forever. Or you can hold on to it until you've got the resources to actually scribe it into your book. Oh, okay. And, um, and then you've got it forever. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of a more creative way to deal with this than just fighting and going through another battle. But I guess that's what we're doing. So, uh, hang on. Let's get. I might just do magic missiles. Magic missiles. You can't see anything at the moment, so you wouldn't okay. be able to hit anything with magic missiles. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, so I'm just, 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 just step out of the. You can take a small step out of the fog. Okay, I'll take. I'll take a we, we step out of the thing over to here. Oh, there's another jackal. All right, oh, as you do so, no. you see that there's another jackal appears uh, from the one that you've seen before. Okay. And the others had moved around. So you realize this, they're making somewhat of a perimeter. And he starts to... Uh, I'm, I'm going to shoot some bloody freaking magic missiles at these. Can you split right. up magic missiles between different types? Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah you can oh, choose who okay. who you hit. So you first, are you are you making three or four? So like I'll go... Uh, level uh, one or level two? I might level two, so four. Two. Oh, no, I might, I might go level... Two. Does it matter, like, am I using it by going level two? Is there any reason why yeah, I would not go level yeah. two? I mean, you're using your level two spell slot, and so it's used up. Okay, okay, right, I got you. Um, I'll, I'll go uh, two at. Hang on, how to march it? Uh, hold, I... hold right click on the, or hold left click, whatever it is on the map. Uh, yeah, make sure your make sure your selector is selected, okay. and then just hold click on it. So this one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Two on him. One two on, on him. him. And one on him. Cool. Two on the middle, ready? one on each of the others. Nice. Okay. This automatically hits, so you just hit, uh, just click oh, the word magic missile. Okay, here it comes. Got it here. Oh, uh, level. It should roll the damage. All right. So the first two were a one and a three, which was enough to kill that guy. The next one was a four, which is enough to kill the other guy, and the next one was a three, which was enough to kill the other guy. Oh, oh shit! That's did you just kill so three, three of these? Oh, yeah. damn. Zaza. Well, they, Zaza. well they're, they're just, this is my point. They're just jackals. So not, so. <laughs> and, they, and the jackals just explode as the as the uh, force arcane missiles <laughs> slam into them and, and, and spray and guts everywhere. And continuing on, uh, again, how far can I move? Um, how far have you moved so far? Uh, let's have a look. Probably so you went from up. there to there, about 20 feet. And so you've got another 10 feet. You can get to about there. Okay. Uh... And then it Wait. is the jackal's turns, the jackal wears jack. Um, all right, so this one has seen number 14 come out of the uh, out of the fog now. So um, The fog's definitely a safe place. You probably should have stayed in there, Ron. Um, yeah, well, yeah. To be fair, he cleared out the whole area where jackals were, so he's like... Yeah. Yeah. I really yeah. should have moved away yeah. from the big werewolf thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the size uh, he of is going to he's going to run here he's got 40 feet so he can get to around this one here and he can just get to uh, number 14. Yo, so he what comes up, dog? Out the book, I was I was coming to you. Thanks for coming to me. As he's as he's running forwards is his eyes looking uh, look at yours and he's got the real crazy eyes going. Um I need you to make a wisdom saving throw please. With uh, advantage. With Ooh. advantage. Here comes a wisdom. Oops, I'm on my spells. Uh wi 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 wisdom saving throw. There it is. 19 with advantage. It's 10 through 19. Yeah. All right. So as he's running uh you, you hear him say in the common tongue, Oh, you're nice and strong. Talia's going to love you. Um, and then, what what and was then that What was that name nice. he said? Talia. Uh, Talia. Everyone, just again. letting you know, I'm writing the name Talia into my <laughs> journal. <laughs> Talia. Yeah, yeah. I told you you like crazy eyes want to it almost block the... It, 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 as his eyes meet yours, you you feel a sense of uh, as if your body is going into your uh, sentry state to recharge. And, he, and he's like shutting you down, and then you manage to resist it and stay awake. Cool. Um, and he seems frustrated that you resisted his effect. Uh, so he's, he's Is next that his to you frustration his or your frustration, Rob? <laughs> maybe, maybe one and the same, who knows? <laughs> all right, all right. So now it is the other guy's turn, uh, and he is he knows that Alfie is nearby. Um, having failed to manacle Todok, he feels like he might, be, he might have a better chance at manacling Alfie. Good luck, mate. So I need you to make an athletics check, please. My strength. strength could grapple onto you. <laughs> athletics. Uh... Come on, Alfie, don't. What the fuck is athletics gone? You can do oh, it. it. Do it, do it, yes! do it. Oh. Uh, I know. I don't, Wait. I don't see it. It didn't oh, no, come no, up. I, I, I see it. I don't see yours. 
It's not showing up. What happened? I, oh, I did it. I've got an 18. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it, is. Oh, there it, is. it just took a little while to come back. I was like, oh, don't make me roll it again. I'll get four. <laughs> Uh, so he, he, he uh, reaches out for you and you feel this clawing hand come towards you and grab a hold of your shoulder and you wrench out of it. Thankfully, he didn't get a good grip because he wasn't able to fully see where you were. So that yeah, failed. Get out of it. Um, so he is deciding he's going to go after Todok because uh, he saw him, he, he heard him running off in that general direction. So he runs to the edge of the fog <clears> and, <throat> says, um, and then he, he, he sees Todok and says, Oh, you'll be a fine specimen. Um, oh. To be honest, then probably is, the best people to be dealing with it. Then it is Alfie's turn. Right. I can't see a thing. I don't know where anyone's gone. What about you? Still flashing around in the fog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, did I see him run off? I didn't. Right. You, he, you heard him. You heard him run off. But in order to second attack of opportunity, you need to be able to chase, see the guy. Chase. 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 He missed early. Come on, All Alfie. Right. All right, I'm going to run up to him again. And hack him. You're, 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 you're running in the general direction that he was running <laughs> until eventually the fog just clears and you just poof, face plant into the back of a jackal. Into his butt. Uh, and, now you, yeah. and now you see him. Stab his butt. Right. Bang right. Right. Stab him in the butt. Stab him in the butt. to meet the wrath of my, of my, uh, my scimitar. Oh, ow. Uh-oh. Uh nope. <laughs> Not when they hit you. Oh, wait. Uh, but plus your proficiency, I believe, Druid's a proficiency in it, uh, would take it to a, a 10 total. So a 10, unfortunately, is not quite enough to hit. So you, you bump into him and you Aww. take a strike, but you having bumped into him pushes him forward a little bit. And the, 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 Alfie, what uh, do you do? Misses. I'm trying, mate. I'm bloody trying. <laughs> Bob, you're up. Um, okay, so did you say something before about them listening to me? Because I feel like you did, and I don't oh, think I, I remember. Can I quickly use the rest of my... Sorry, I just want to get back into the fog. Just... <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a good decision, really. It's going to be anyway, on you. <clears throat> sorry. Um, sorry about that. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to try to... You're right. I'm just going to... I'm just going to back off into the fog just quietly and just sit here. Um, so, Alfie, as you as you back into the fog, you leave his oh, melee range. No. <laughs> what I was saying, man, you got to, like, stick with Alfie. me out here, dude. <laughs> you leave his melee range. He, into uh, he the drops, fog so we can't see me. <laughs> he, drops the, he drops the nest that he's holding and turns around with a claw, and you take five slashing damage. Oh, bullshit. Oh. I, assume an eight, I assume an 18 hits you. What's your armor class? Yeah. Uh, a million? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. All, All right. right. So now it's bad. Um. Yeah. Did you you said something earlier about them listening to me or me having some sort of jackal affinity? I don't know if that's correct. Oh um, yes. You feel you you feel like as they walked out onto the path, there was something suddenly ominous about them, and you feel like you had you had control of them once upon a time, cool. maybe. So I'm gonna oh. run after this way and just tell them to stop. Just be like, cut it out. Cut it out, you guys. Cut. Hey, guys, stop, stop, stop. C- cut uh, it right. out. Stop doing that. And then. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, just gonna, gonna quickly move the fog to see if you trip over anything, because I don't think no, there's nothing in your in your path as you run. That's so me you should... Zaza in the background going, I'm just gonna move the fog. Bug, you run, you run forward along the path, uh, blindly into the fog, um, and you eventually get to an Alfie that materializes as he hero- oh, enters your ah! <laughs> Just um, That's your, that's, that's your movement. What are you doing as your action? Um, I'm telling them to cut it out. Can I do that? <laughs> All right. Can you make a? What language are you using? Uh, I'm. What language, um... what language do you speak? Well, they were speaking. They were speaking common earlier, weren't they? They were, the jackal wears were speaking common, yeah. Well, I know infernal and draconic, and I don't think either of them are that, unless they are. They are infernal because I recognise them. So maybe I say um, infernal just to give the, a go. So the you you know that the languages that the Zvats were speaking were neither uh, were not common, infernal or draconic, but you still understood it. So you know you speak another language, you just don't know. Great, right. that's really you don't helpful. How to Alfie, do you know what language that is? Just <laughs> so, what, okay, what languages are you shouting it in? Because the jackals, the jackals were speaking in common. Um, I'll I'll shout it in common. Then we'll just. All right. So, can you make a persuasion check for me, please? Oh God. But also, but can also, I need to hear what you're saying. Can you say it now? Like, act um, it out for us. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, not... nice. Cut it out. Cut it out. Persuasive. You there, stop it. Dad. Well, with a, with a 13, that's probably what it go, is like. Just go, bad boy, right, yeah. bad, bad, <laughs> sit, hey, hey, sit, bad, 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 yeah. No. Yeah. All right. So no. You run forward with your movement. You shout that as a, I'll allow that to be a bonus action if you wish. Um, is there anything you want to do as an action? Uh, and then I might. Can I see anyone right now? I can only see Alfie. Hey. You so can't see anyone. You can see Alfie because he's near enough. But. Um, I can't see anyone, so there's nothing really I can do. So, and I've given away my short sword to Adam. I mean to <laughs> number fourteen, who is somewhere down there. No, I think that's kind of it. That's all right, all number I 14, do. you're up. Um, so I'm do you gonna... know how the persuasion went on the jackals? Yeah, what happened there? What happened there? We'll, we'll, what? You'll find out. Uh, uh, how the persuasion went on the jackals. Oh, yeah, you'll, yeah. Find, you'll, you'll find out. Can I... I don't know she, shouted she, shouted what she, shouted, she shouted what she shouted, and, oh. and we'll see what, it, whether it affects them on their turn. Um, you could probably just turn around and go, where'd that voice come from? It's <laughs> 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 so much fun. Um, uh, do I know, as number 14, if any of my holy spells would affect where beings, where jackals? Um, make a nature check, please. Because I feel like it might. Uh, or an arcana check, your choice. Nature or arcana. Uh, damn it, I want to do arcana because I have more arcana. Oh, no, I don't actually. <laughs> No, <laughs> Too bad. It's, it's, it, it'll, I'll take that same role, but if you had a higher modifier for Arcana... I, I, I don't, I, it's just Sarah. Um, no, so you 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 haven't been trained in in dealing with um, werewolves or lycanthropes or uh, therianthropes, um, but you have you have been trained in, in dealing with orcs, and so that's kind of your knowledge. You don't Damn really it. know much about the lore of, of jackal weirs. Um, uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a crack anyway. Uh, I'm All gonna right. I'm gonna use the magic short sword to attack him with okay. with divine smite. Excellent. So you can actually choose as a paladin. You can choose to only only spend divine smite once you hit, so that you don't actually have to spend a spell slot. Okay, cool. Well, then I'll do the. So um, make an attack with the short sword. So you um. I don't I don't have it in my weapons. Yeah, so you're I'd... you're proficient in all weapons, so it'd be the same. It would be the same modifier as your um great axe. So if I just click great axe and just click great great axe, it just won't do the damage. Uh, 16. So 16 will hit, and now it's going to be a plus, uh, plus one plus your strength, so plus four. Um, so then make a, just roll a d6 with the thing on the left. Oh, yep. Uh, d6. Oh, where is it? D6. Oh, just one of them? Yep, one d6. What? Oh, so I just clicked d6. Two. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, so one d6 that's plus four. So that's my kind of roll. So yeah. that's, six, that's six damage that um, that's happening uh, with the sword. Now you can choose to pump divine energy into it and do more damage as well. Okay, let's see if this happens. Um, now I have two divine smites on my... Uh, I have yeah. divine smite undead and normal divine smite. I guess he's not he's undead. Not, he's not undead, so it's the normal one. So I just click divine smite and... Oh, that did nothing. Why did that Which? Do? I'm doing it. Um. I've got divine smite. In my you can, you're casting it at first level, so just just roll two d8. I know that it does two d8 damage anyway. Roll okay, two d8. Uh, there's two of them. Oh wait, ah, oh. well I've just done that, but a little input yep. value came up. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Uh, yeah, that's it was it was asking what level you want to cast it at. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that's 14, 14 total damage. You uh, you strike this thing with the short sword. You feel like the magic of the blade actually cuts through the magic of his resistance and cuts into him. You you feel uh, the the blade cut into flesh and start to actually um, put him open. It does serious damage to him and he goes down unconscious. Yeah, we got it. As you as your blade hits the divine energy of the uh, the light. Starts to uh, radiate down your mechanical arm and into the blade itself, and then poof, burns and sears him from the inside. Turns out, okay, uh, everyone, I'm writing this into my journal <laughs> that radiant damage does indeed hurt where beings. There it is. All right, now it is. I can't hear you. <laughs> Sorry, Dude. I'll shout louder. Yep. <laughs> Divine damage does hurt where beings. I don't have that, but okay. Uh, yeah, that's useless information for me, but thank I don't you. Have that. <laughs> Dodok, you're up. Dodok smash! <laughs> Dodok, battle at 
You see, hard, a very, you see a very frightened jackal in front of you. <laughs> oh. as, it turns to, as it turns to start running away, but <laughs> you pick off its back end, and it just instantly dies from the pain and blood. That is not vegan. Sudden guys. pressure. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not vegan. Not vegan. <laughs> and I am charging this one, but I want to. I don't want to. Atta- this guy is out of the fog as well, now. Yeah, I, just, I don't want to attack this guy because I got nothing that will hurt him. But I want to. I want to charge past him and bowl into him, like push him real hard with my shoulder Boom. as All I right. run into to uh, the guy put beyond him. I was going to say, do I, you have any grapple or anything? I will allow it as an athletics check. Athletics check. Um, Grapple's an action, unfortunately, Ben. Grapple's an action. Ah, yeah, right. Uh, right. Of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, athletics. athletics. Oh. Hey, <laughs> two natural one, two natural ones. So you run at him, trip over, and smash your head on a rock. <laughs> oh and then and Todok dies. <laughs> a natural one, even with advantage. That's only a one in four hundred chance. That's not good. Um, <laughs> Todok smash. I don't know why you couldn't have rolled that when I was asking for when he was trying to freaking manacle you, but no, it has to be when you're trying to push him instead. So you run past him, and he voluntarily goes back into the fog as you as you try and back, uh, shoulder check him, and then comes back out again as you've passed. So you miss him entirely. Um, oh, you don't trip. It's a bit too cruel. <laughs> um, that is your turn. Zaza, you're up. Go, Zaza. Uh, right. Zaza. Onwards on the Zaza. recruiting path. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you may as well just come up this way because we'll all convene north. Um, right. Well, I'm going to move. I'm going to move. Uh, how many feet? 30 feet. There. 30 feet total. <laughs> Right, moving there, and I might as well do some magic missiles because you know <laughs> we'll like a bit of magic missiles. I'm gonna cast level one magic missiles at these two um, bad boys over here. This one, this guy, and this guy. Yeah. Um, which <laughs> ones? Uh, is it just yeah. those two? So one of them's getting two. Ah, uh, is it just level? Oh yeah, because I get because level, level one does level three dots. Uh, do let's try. One. You may as well try this guy as well. Yeah, go, uh, go, uh, go a crack at it. Yeah, maybe, one maybe one, one, each of them gets one. You know? Each of them gets one, about. right? Okay, here we go. I'm about to roll. A Zaza one. <laughs> a Zaza two. <laughs> <laughs> a Zaza magic missile. <laughs> All right. So the first one, uh, three, and kills the jackal. The second one, two, does not kill the jackal. And the fourth one, four, and hurts the guy and manages to cut through his resistance. Oh, oh. 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 Just back a little bit. And then, and then I just stand there like this. Like, and this guy, as he's Hey, guys, as he's I've coming, taken out five so far. What about as you, guys? back out of the fog, uh, a magic missile rounds around the fog and poof, slams into his chest, uh, opening a small wound in his chest. Ooh. He's not dead, but he's... So magic. Hey, guys, it seems like just magic. It's just normal magic kind of hurts these guys. This <laughs> Great. Thank you. I'm writing that in my right. journal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is oh, my God. Turn. Zaza, do you also have a journal? We can bond over that later. Yeah, man, I always keep it like normally just as talking he, about the things in my day. As he gets blasted in the chest and then comes back out, uh, Torok, you look around to see him being hurt by this magic damage to see if it's true. Can it be true? Um, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw as you look into his crazy eyes. Oh. Um, well, son of a bitch. Ooh. Oh. That's probably not good. Torok, sleepy. <laughs> you, feel real, you feel real sleepy. Oh. And as you start to as you start to fall unconscious, you you go no 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 can't can't sleep yet can't sleep yet. No. And you manage to knock yourself out of it. Nice. Oh, what, what what was it? Slip slump sort of hypno thing happening? Yeah, yeah, he's got crazy eyes that was trying to put crazy him to sleep. Eyes. He sees him very frustrated. What are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also hear you also hear him shout, uh, "They're too strong! Retreat!" Um, and then he is going to. Mm, no. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna run. So you get an attack of opportunity if you want to take it, Alan. Can I? I'm gonna. Well, it's pointless attacking with the the battle axe, but can I try and shoot my bow, my arrow, an arrow into the wound that uh, Zaza just made? You definitely don't have your bow out. <laughs> uh, can I try and hit him in the same spot that Zaza just damaged him and like double down on that? You can try. It's gonna be a cold shot, so his AC is slightly higher for it, but you can make the attempt. All right, let's do it. Leroy. 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 So you strike out as he leaves your your um your range, and you hit him in the side, and it does no damage. No, oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you need magic, man. 
I don't he's have magic. Balls isn't enough these days. <laughs> magic, man. You he's need magic. Gums from, magic. From, the, from the page. Magic. Um, magic. Um, magic. Alfie, magic. Alfie, Alfie, you're up. It's, it's a kind of magic, 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 magic. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, uh, so I run over here to this jackal, right? Sure, you run out of the fog, you see Torok, you see the other jackal we were running away, you yeah. see a jackal yeah. that is heavily wounded and showing uh, obvious signs with your animal handling. Put it out of misery. You can, you can instantly assess the situation that this jackal is going to try and get the hell out of here on his next turn. Right, right. Uh, can I talk to him and go... Hey, what's up with those wear jacks? Where were they? What, what's what's the deal here? What's going on? Hey? What's going on? It's so calm, like. Yeah. Can you, yeah, sure. Can you make a um? Yeah, let's make it an animal handling check. Okay. Uh, da, 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 animal handling. Twenty-two. Oh, nice. Yeah, boy. Um, he he, he says. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting out of here. It's, it's too you're too strong. She, she, you're not worth it. Yeah, but what was the deal? Like, where where did you guys come from? Where are the? Why are you hanging out with a wear jack? You cheeky little. You're just this a whole time. You've been like like slowly up. raising his axe. For a little... <laughs> You've been hanging out with the wrong crowd, and I'm very disappointed in you. <laughs> Normally, she jackals are just fun and we, we, We've got to. It's our job. You guys have to bring up people. No. <laughs> Tom Rock, no. shush. Please try to talk to the jackal. Sorry, what was uh, that? Uh, oh, oh, he's no. gone now. Right. What did you just say, Alfie? I'll repeat it. <laughs> no, well, I you don't think you see, I've got a history of talking with animals. I don't know if it's a good idea for you to do it. Oh, dear. So, Bob, you, you run out of the fog realizing now that they didn't listen to you for whatever reason right. they used to oh, and didn't yeah. Yeah. So that language is incorrect then. He just just ignored Well, me. you didn't have the greatest <laughs> argument, to be fair. <laughs> You're like, no! But for one reason or another, they didn't <laughs> listen to you. That's great. Love being ignored. You didn't, you didn't have any treats to offer them. It's like a uh, treat, treat. They're like, <laughs> we're not going to roll over for no treat. No, no snacks. No, no snacks. sorry. What are you um, doing, Bob? I'm looking at my spells right now. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll a toilet check. <laughs> Can I? What happens if you fail? Do you just do it in your pants, just sitting there? Yeah. Do. All right. That's that's my life now. I guess. <laughs> I might, I might just make a like a bless. To, uh, I guess I. No one here has met Alpha. Does Alpha have magic? Alpha's got magic. I could bless Alpha, yeah, um, because that gives you what an advantage when you attack. Looking, yeah. looking around um, you, Bab. Looking around you, there is one jackal that is on one hit point and very scared and about wait, to run away. Go... And that's it. Yeah, yeah the other guy is the other guy is a good forty feet oh, ahead of you, like cool. running. He, he's out, he's like, I reckon, Bob, you could just light a cigarette or something and chill. No, like, I'm going to abstain from the violence because it's yeah. not vegan, even though I'm not vegan. Just honestly, light a smoke and just hang out. We'll, you're we'll... just standing there, guys. Guys, Fourteen, honestly, you wouldn't up. believe it in the factory farms. You just wouldn't believe it if you saw that. Oh, okay. Fourteen, you're up. Um, I'm just going to um, bend over and look at the jackal uh, either side of me. And just like give them little like robot eyes, like get get out of get can you, go, yeah. Can you get. make an can you make an intimidation check, please? Uh, With advantage because you just murdered the jackal weir. Yeah. Front. Okay. Uh, sorry, you wanted what a uh, what check? Sorry. Intimidation. intimidation. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, two natural ones again. With what advantage, that's crazy. Roll twenty. What's going on? <laughs> that is. What are the other hitting twice in the space of? Is... I mean, it's that a good thing. So it's a good thing unlikely. they were planning on running anyway, but I guess that right is RNG, yeah. right? It can so happen. super unlikely. So when when he gets up close, apparently he's really unintimidating. Number fourteen is just like. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. All right. Um, so you, you, I'll say you bend over as part as part of your movement. You can. And, can you put your back up? And you, yeah. you try and <laughs> I think this is so unintimidating. Direction. The jackals will now like be like, we can actually fight this. We can. We should come back. <laughs> <laughs> I think actually we got this. It's it's really shit. Um, um, I, I, anything I, else? I'm just gonna show that I'm. I'm gonna show that I'm not even a threat, and I'm gonna walk away. All right. Uh, this guy would get an attack of opportunity, but he chooses not to take it. Um, then it is Dorok. You're up. You bring your axe, axe down that you Oh, have. this guy's gonna get so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? 
fuck? Would you say one HP? Let's go. Yeah. Oh <laughs> fuck! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's savage. I'm this is yeah. this, 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 whole time, time, this whole time you guys are talking, like, so what's the deal? Was I was just, ah! I was like power, I'm power out like Super Saiyan. I'm like going like. <laughs> I, if I head here, it would be yellow and like all. Charges <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Brings it down, up, just annihilates this thing into a bloody mist. I don't, I don't use the sharp point of the X. I use the flat part, and it just, <laughs> and it just bursts and into mess. And then, sure enough, number fourteen, these guys uh, run away. Thankfully, the intimidation check was awful, but they were. Uh, Pretty they, 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 It seems they were running away because they were told to, and not because you scared them. Damn it. <laughs> It was but, definitely but no, because I scared nobody, them. But nobody <laughs> witnessed you, you it. No, Adam, nobody witnessed it, so you could totally come and brag, like, guys, you should have seen how intimidating I was. <laughs> guys, <laughs> you should see how intimidating I was. And then shortly Good work, after, number 14. Zaza, once you realize there's no threat, you drop the fog cloud, and uh, and you realize that uh, you can you, you collaborate between yourselves about what, what the individuals were saying. And you ascertain that uh, the young jackal, the, the 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 thing that you just turned into a mist, um, told Alfie that somebody somebody tells them to collect people for her, um, and then fourteen, you offer that yeah they they said something about Talia, so there's someone called Talia who wants people, particularly okay. big nice nice big strong specimens like you guys. Okay, we should um, keep apparently in we're just mind a bit too strong. Talia. Hmm. So have you written um, it down in your little journal? I, I, ha I have written that down in my journal. I wish there was... Yeah, a, yeah. Is, 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 there a, is there a notes section in our character sheet? There's not really, is there? Um, let me check. I think there is... In, I genuinely uh, did write it down for real. In, in the bio. You go in a bio. Yeah, the second, the, second, the second page has, like, room for oh, yeah. bio and things. You can use that instead. Uh, All right, oh, yeah, so you... Gonna, um, gonna, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to write it in allies and organizations. Be like, a jackal said the word Talia. <laughs> 20 years you look back at it you're like what what is this? <laughs> yeah, what is this? <laughs> oh man i was so high <laughs> yeah. so you tell me what the fuck <laughs> you continue on to the city of wraith uh now uh, leaving the forested area and um and seeing the that wraith is in front of you maybe only a half hour walk away all right now, let's uh, save this, wraith <laughs> let's let's just you can see, Wraith, uh, a few of you have been here before, particularly 14, um, maybe Barb. Um, I think that's... Oh, Torok, probably. You've seen that it's a heavily, heavily fortified city. This is a, this is, um, a city that withstands orc attacks on the regular basis. Mm -hmm. And so there is a 30-foot wide moat around the entire thing. It, is, it has got two walls, an outer wall and an inner wall, uh, each about 20 feet high. There are regularly spaced towers from which the um, defenders can shoot arrows and ballistas and all kinds of uh, defenses. But you also see that on the um, eastern side of it, from the Schmagenrog side, there are a bunch of um, siege weapons and siege towers um, that have that have some of which have been destroyed, but most of which have remained intact. And you realise that the orcs have bre breached both walls from the eastern side. Um, normally, a very difficult feat for an orc to do because orcs aren't the smartest and they're not very tactical there's a lot of infighting among them and so they they um they somehow have managed to to siege this thing for long enough to not get um to not get attacked and killed while they were sieging uh so so there are there is sort of some plumes of smoke coming from from wraith as well you see that the orcs in their usual fashion have set fire to a lot of buildings and uh and you make your way to in, into the city is, what what's your what's your plan as you approach the city gates is there any people about i guess we want to find someone to ask uh what's going on because from memory from last game there was something to do it seems like there was a loose connection between this plague and rowan's family and the dream sorry yeah the dreams rowan's family this loose connection mm -hmm. between everything so i guess we want to try and get a bit more info Mm. Sure. So um, as you're as you're sort of planning to to start of just start asking around, um, uh, Rowan, Zaza hears a a familiar voice say, ah, "Earl Zaza, Earl Zaza, ah, finally found you." And you you turn around and you see you see um, you see Zenith, you see Zenith, um, who is your family Raven, who was an awakened Raven, 
um, who is used as a messenger to to deliver. This is, not, this, this is not the pigeon raven that I that I sent out. This is like not the same. I mean, the one you sent out was part. just a raven. It was just, it was one that you hired from uh, from this oh, yeah. town of Woodstock. But seemingly, this is your reply. Right. Um, oh. Because this is the this is your family raven that. About they bloody used. time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> landing. <laughs> landing. <laughs> He, yeah, he, can, he comes in and, and, and lands, and in the usual fashion, uh, he announces, uh, My message is for the attention of Earl Zazar of House Phantasmo. View, viewing this correspondence by persons otherwise shall be punishable by death under the authority of King Rodolin of House Ladegeep. Yes. I promise not to listen. No, no, I am turning up I... my ordinary senses, and then like I yeah. make what accounts to a wink to everyone else. <laughs> He, but, I'm he, assuming there's a, there's a letter, there's a little... Yeah, he holds, up his, he holds up his leg and you take the letter out of the little pouch and you un unroll it. And it says, um, Zaza, how dare you speak to me in such an insolent manner? You have no right to speak to me with such base language, nor to make such demands of my time. If I hadn't seen your letter with my own, mine own eyes, I would have scarcely believed that someone of my own blood, and an earl of the court of Enig Stillivern, no less, could be acting like such a petulant child of merely being asked to give something back to his people. You have severely disappointed me this day, and I've held much higher expectations for you. Perhaps your tutelage has been a waste of resources up to this point, if you are still so lacking in your ability to convey your intentions as to revert to peasant speak. I am none the wiser as to the meaning of your message, but I expect your apology at your earliest in, uh, convenience, Duke Derek of House Phantasma. Awkward. Awkward. You just got a howler. Why did you read that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> right. Not to <laughs> 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 That's alright, mate. Come here. Come here. Come Are here. you okay, <laughs> Earl Zaza? I well, well, no. You I was. <laughs> I don't know what to say with that because I can't quite remember what I said. <laughs> it was something like basically all I said, like Dad, yo, father. What the f? I can tell you exactly what you said because I yeah. wrote it down. Yeah. <laughs> In your memory, you remember saying, "Hey, Dad, what the fuck?" Yeah, you know, right? Yeah, you know, right? I don't think I need to say anymore. I expect your reply. Zaza out. <laughs> <laughs> Which was very, you know, royally regal speak. <laughs> I'm wondering why he's. I'm I understand the tone I, of the reply now. Yeah. I asked him a, a few no. more questions. <laughs> Just a few more questions so I could know that he... he I assumed... <laughs> I think... From that reply... That he doesn't quite know what I was meaning. Also... Dilly -doo, dilly -doo, dilly -doo, you remember me last session... <laughs> Telling you in the voice of uh, Freddy <laughs> that the, the, the robot assassin 21 was was commissioned by your father over 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, and so it's yeah. not necessarily the first thing on his mind when his yeah. son, who has no connection to the assassin robot that he, <laughs> he uh, commissioned, sends him a reply, <laughs> sends him a message saying, what the fuck, you know. Well, like, I'm just picturing like, like, like Lord of the Rings elves and there's this one elf who just sends a letter like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> And his dad is just standing there overlooking this image, like let's, ima just let's imagine Elrond. Let let, let's imagine Elrond. Right Jesus Christ! So, so maybe he didn't understand your message. I think I think he just has interpreted my messages. This this annoying quest you sent me out. Yeah. Like, but, but, but for the for the knowledge of everyone else, you go might might not know my backstory was that I've been sent out to basically make something of myself because I've been a. <laughs> Like and against my will, kind of. <laughs> and so to him, he's like, he's just like, I'm just going like, I hate this, Dad. What the f? This sucks. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's nice to, word from you Zaza need to, on his I, adventure. Let's hear I, how it's going, Dad. What the fuck? Yeah, you know, okay. you know. Ra what's up, Ra Raven? Raven, what's up, what's up, Raven? You need to send a reply asap, but I don't think we'll get a response by yeah. the time this campaign is over. But what's you need, you need to clarify what you're talking about. What what's the Raven's name? Zenith. Zenith. Zim Zinna? Ne? Zenith. Oh. Nith. Uh Zenith. Zenith. Where's the piece of paper? Good. Here we go. Paper. <laughs> oh, I... Holds out his other leg. Get the okay. piece of paper out. Here we go. Okay, father. <laughs> huh. I guess you don't know what I'm talking about. 
Which, well, well maybe this will solve your memory. Number 21. Hmm. All right, all right. Hmm. Question mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Number 21. Hmm. I might consider uh, I draw, uh, su su I suggesting giving a little bit more information than that. And I, and I draw a little face. I, I'm actually, my character's quite good at drawing. He draws, he draws a picture of his own face going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You want me to, you want me to, like, eyeball him when I give him the message, sir? Yes. Yeah. Give, like, eyeball him and go, and, and if, uh, that's the one part I'd like you to actually go, hmm, <laughs> on number 21. <coughs> uh, anything you'd like to say, father? Uh, uh, can I just suggest maybe you say, maybe make mention of a robot or a warforger, not just a number. Because okay. he might, uh, maybe, it was 10 years what ago. What about he might, and and then, and then, plot? Okay, and then, well. and it's just in brackets, add, you know the the, the warforged robot you sent, you, you bastard. And, 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 and maybe oh, also sorry. maybe also mention Freddy, who he commissioned to make number twenty one. You know, Freddy, like over ten years ago. Do you want another yeah, piece yeah, of paper? Yeah. And then do you want another piece yeah. of paper and start again? Uh, no, 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 no. And then just <laughs> and then run back, and then finish the whole thing with yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And then roll up and send. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I think you could do better. Okay, it's gone. Outrageous. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Outrageous. And he sets off. All right. Zaza, uh, where did you get? Where did you get that toast, Zaza? In the middle <laughs> of a burnt down <laughs> city. Some <laughs> walked past and I just grabbed it. No, I'm playing with you. I've got it's mine. I'm loyal to you. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody fleeing uh, the city. Somebody evacuating the city with all of their worldly belongings. <laughs> <laughs> One of them's eating avocado toast on Saldo. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so then you make your way into the actual city. Um, the, the drawbridges are all, all up, so you head around to the part where the walls were actually breached. And you find that the um, the moat was uh, filled in. So it's, it's obviously taken them the orcs quite a while to fill in this part of the moat. Um, and yet they were still not attacked while they were while they were doing so. Uh, and then the and then the siege towers are up against the wall. So you walk up the siege tower and up and over, and you get down in, into the interior of Wraith, and you see that in this in this immediate vicinity where the orcs are initially breached, the the buildings have collapsed with uh, with the fire damage and whatnot. Um, there are a few guards wandering around from that you see in all the keep um, clothing that have uh, obviously been uh, clearing out orcs wherever they've seen them. Um, you also see that there are just there are a few people in the city that aren't like humans that aren't uh, haven't been affected by the orcs and they seem to be people who would live here. They're just they're just kind of lounging around like as if they're on the on the uh, longest binge of their life. Can, um, is, is, so there you, one, is there one round that doesn't seem to be in an a absolute drunken stupor? Maybe they're can you make a themselves. can you make a can you make um, an investigation check, please? Uh, yes, I can. Uh... Bloop. Damn. Um, there, there, there seems to be a lot of people that are just drunk and drunken and, and milling the streets. As you, the more you walk into this, you've you've walked several blocks now, and you see people up in the alleyways doing well, having fun. Uh, and you see people out Ooh. on the streets. The people out on the street just like playing cards and ah, just one more game, one more game, come on, one more game. Uh, just, uh, best of best of seventy four. Uh, and, and just continuing. Um, and then there's. There's, there's uh, other guards that see, see you guys come in and um, like guards of Alderkeep who seem just as flummoxed as you. And then like they, it's this, whatever happened when they arrived at the city of Wraith is not what they were expecting to see. And so they, they, they see you come in and say, uh, what's, I, can you make heads or tails of this? I, I don't know what's happening here. Have any yeah, we're here to save Wraith. Have any guards yeah. been affected by the weird, uh, Plague going through, going oh, through. Yeah, memory banks. Nah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, he was looking for the yeah, and he, he, he points over, and you see, um, you see someone uh, dressed in the, um, the regalia of a a, a wraith guard, uh, and you know, I'll, you know, number fourteen, that these guys keep their their blue um, clothing very, very pristinely um, clean. Mm. They, they, it's part of their sort of military. Um, mind that they have to keep everything regimented, and and this guy has just got vomit down his self, and he's just kind of like sitting against the wall and that, laughing. That's, that's <laughs> awesome to see the guard of Wraith. Sorry, I should have been more specific. I meant all the keep army guard people things. Oh, no, no, no. We've only just arrived, uh, just like maybe 
two hours ago, three hours is ago. Is it too it's... late to save Wraith? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's affecting it other than the orcs. So we've driven them out already. I don't know. I don't know if it's savable. <sighs> is there I... any part of Wraith in which it's worse? Like that? This yeah, is toward, it gets worse. It gets worse as you get towards the center. Shall we right. go to the center? I think we should probably go to the middle. <laughs> yeah. Or Let's... shall we just say, ah, oh, well, it's all over. It's there's nothing we can do. Maybe go back home. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean to be honest, we'll be just and as much help doing that guys. probably. <laughs> but uh, we, we, we should the end of the campaign. Yeah, I right, think. Guys, <laughs> brainstorm. Oh no, it's too much trouble. Let's I think it's time for a brainstorm. <laughs> what is our mission objective now? <laughs> to, to try and find the course of the plague, I would say. Yeah, I think I think we head further into Wraith. All right, <clears throat> you continue me meandering through the streets. Um, as you're getting pretty close to the center, you actually see an orc that's kind of like lounged over a um, a crate, like a, a marketplace, and he's dead. Um, but yes. then when you get close, you get closer, you see that he's kind of got belabored breathing, and it seems like he's dying, not dead. Ooh. But then as you draw level with him, you see a, a human guard of Wraith on his knees in front of him, and it seems like it's not just affecting the humans that lived here but the orcs that were attacking as well and now there is and as you look around you see that there are other orcs and there are orcs that are having fun in the corner there's orcs that are drinking oh, humans what? and orcs alike humans and orcs alike are all just having fun and, and drinking and gambling and stuff together and it's what's the problem i don't understand <laughs> yeah. the problem here is <laughs> all right Seems What's like everything's worked out. <laughs> well, as you as you wander around the uh, the corner here, I'm going to take you to the city page. Uh, as you wander around the corner into the um, the, oh. the marketplace, you see that there are mattresses and and um, and bedding and clothing and, and blankets and things strewn around the the place, um, as well as a whole bunch of orcs around the place. You you uh, you get an announcement made. Uh, you hear that this guy over here. This guy he says, uh, "Ah, fresh meat, are ya?" Oh. And um, and then you see that this house over oh. here. You might want to zoom out a bit because this is a rather large map. This house over here has a balcony on the front of it that opens up, and you see a woman. You see a woman come out onto the balcony. Beautiful woman with um, with devilish horns, um, very mm. tiefling esque. Oh. Bob, can you make an intelligence check, please? Oh. Sure thing. Intelligence saves. I think you know each other. I'm just saying. Guys, I am <laughs> opening my journal, and Talia is the name that I wrote down. Yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the that was the Bloody lady who was. Here. That's the lady who was uh, commanding the wear jackals. Uh, I just uh, yell out, Talia! Oh, <laughs> Sato's here. Oh God. Uh, you recognize her? Oh, you. I feel like I know that. Person. You, you not only feel like you know her, but you know why you know her. And I know she why was, I know her. She was your subordinate. She was your right hand. Oh. You're not sure. How, you're not. You, you know. You, you, it's coming back to you. There was. You were in. You were in charge here. Not. Not her. What was happening? Suddenly. Ooh. Suddenly, you're on a boat. Bug, you're on a boat that you woke up on, 35 years ago. But you're not alone this time. This time, there's a crew with you. A crew of about seventeen men. Hmm. As you uh, as you sort of come to this realization, and you're on this boat, looking around yourself, uh, one of them is one of them is giving you the plague, uh, the um, proud hand salute. Lorna, we're almost there. You uh, you f you hear yourself answering him. Um, Thank you, James. Inform me when we're close, uh, when we when we can see the land. And he says, "Right to our Lorna." And then he turns and leaves the hold of the ship. Lorna. Lorna. Oh, I've got a name you... that's not my name. Then suddenly you're back. <laughs> suddenly you're back in this uh, in this town square, and you know that you're connected to this somehow. Um. um the the woman known oh. as Talia comes out onto the balcony. Beautiful tiefling woman, down to the waist. But as she gets further out onto the balcony, more of her is revealed from the lower uh, part down. And you see that very centaur-like, she is a lion from the bottom half down. Oh, Ooh. goodness! Is there a name for that? Yes, there is. Um, she wanders out into the balcony. Oh, do and she we sees... know the name for that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know the name, do you? So I'm not no. going to tell you it. No, there is a name for it. 
Um, she it's walks out to the balcony and she sees new meat, is it? And she looks out over you. Ooh, a warforged. I haven't seen one of you in many years. I, I, and then she, wave. in a very, in a very uh, pouncing way, she jumps down off of the uh, the balcony. Boom, poof. You also know, Brit, um, Bab remembers that sh- that Talia wasn't um, a Lamia, as they are known, because uh, the name comes to you. Bab, uh, she wasn't a Lamia. The person in charge what? was, but she wasn't. Mm. And now she she wanders forwards very. Um, very uh, like a like a lioness about to hunt. So you said you said that Tal- Talia wasn't a lamia. Not when Bab knew her. Oh. So she. Um, she wanders. She, she wanders forwards Great. past the past the uh, threesome that's happening between the orcs and the woman <laughs> and the man here that that moves aside. Uh, <laughs> that that's Talia nice. Says, <laughs> Sorry, threesome <laughs> moves aside. They the threesome like <laughs> off to the side. <laughs> they all just pick themselves up. Roll off to the side. And then she looks across the rest of you. Oh, an elf. Oh, we don't have many of you. And then she her eyes land on you, uh, Bob. I'm hiding. <laughs> <laughs> That's how hiding I can't works. See you. you can't see me. That's how hiding works. Oh, can it be? Can Are my eyes you... deceiving me? Uh, Lorna uh, Red finally returned. Red, great. Okay, I have a last one too. How do I know you? Where have you been? I've just been on a quest. We're trying to save this entire city. Like, how do I? How do I know you? You don't recognize me. Well, I recognize you, but I don't know how. She uh, she does a quick scan. She seems like she's really checking you out. Huh. Why are you wearing the uh, symbol? She reaches out and puts a, a, a claw under, uh, sorry, a, a fingernail claw. She puts a under, underneath the tree of life um, amulet that you're wearing and pulls it out from your chest. Where does this come from? Why? <laughs> you want to know? You didn't answer my question. You're making me very uncomfortable. <laughs> she, starts to, she starts to prowl around here. You also see that there's a... Um, a gentleman has wandered out from this. Uh, let's send him to the right layer. There he is. A gentleman's wandered out from the the balcony as well, and has made his his way down a um, a ladder to the side and started. I like his moustache. I like oh, his moustache. Oh, oh, oh. She walks across to. Uh, she she leaves you for a second, Bab, and says, "That's very interesting." And then she walks over to Tarok, and she's about your height, um, with the with the sort of centaur x thing that she's got going on. Hello. She puts a she puts her hand on your arm and sort of strokes you. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, oh no. no. Uh-oh. Oh, Is she no. doing the sleepy oh, thing as uh, well? Uh, oh, spaghetti That's Alright, what was it? 13. 13. Um, oh, in fact, it's not a saving throw at all. Just happens. Oh, uh oh. What just happens? Okay, never mind. Okay. Um, you feel yourself drawn in by her. She's a beautiful woman, and she's Ooh. very intoxicating. She is. She is. She's seductive and gorgeous, and she smells amazing. And... I've always wanted to make love to a lion. <laughs> yes. Lots of people have. Surprising what? amount of people have. She says as she walks around you. <laughs> Alfie. Um, <laughs> she walks past you, towering above you. She says, "Oh, Hello? forest gnome, I've not to use one of you before." And she strokes Ooh. your cheek. Oh. Um, and you feel like this is a beautiful woman. This is this is something else. Yeah. Like she's she's just gorgeous. She wanders over to uh, <laughs> she wanders over to number fourteen. She says, "Huh, I wonder." And she just touches you down the side of your uh, torso. And you understand that she's a, a beautiful woman, like in a in a very um, academic kind of way. You, you, you yeah. can analyze that she is beautiful, but you don't feel any sense of attraction or uh, yep. sexual interest in her. Thank goodness. Hmm. <laughs> well. More for talk. I'm not sure if you. <laughs> Add me. <laughs> I'm not sure if you fully remember everything then. What uh, she kind of walks around to the center and then she she sort of kneels down and her body sort of leans back a little bit on, onto her 
uh, lion haunches. And she says to you, Bob, what exactly do you remember? Hey, remember give us that... give us your full backstory. <laughs> I remember that you didn't look like that. You weren't what you are now. No, I've been promoted since your absence. When oh. was my absence? In your you really world. don't remember anything. No, I've clearly said that I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you so... listening live, Robin? This is wonderful news. Well, you seem to be gaining way too much satisfaction. But it seems from... James failed in his mission. But I won't. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Everybody, why won't we have some fun with our new guests? And you oh, see great. the people start to close in around you. Uh-oh. 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 Um, so, you, Bab, you are back on the ship, and you are in the hold. And you, the mention of James failing at his mission, you you remember that James was on the ship with you. Mother? Yeah. And you realize... <laughs> Kick me off you, the ship, didn't you, a little bit? You, you, <laughs> as you're in the hold, you realize that there is... There is stuff being transported here that you wouldn't have expected to be needed to, tra- to be transported for your mission. Your mission was to head west and and spread the plague to the to the uncharted oh. west. But this there is way. no reason for them to be carrying these these buckets of lead. Why would they need so much lead? And then you uncover a sheet and you see that there is a furnace in this thing, a furnace that would be the sort of size that would be used for melting lead. You start to wonder what what the hell is what the hell is the crew doing here? You uncover another sheet and realize there is a human sized uh, sarcophagus through which there is a funnel into into the actual sarcophagus. Something for which maybe could be um, poured molten lead, for instance. Mm-hmm. And you start to piece it together that you have you've been tricked onto this boat. They're going to put you in. They're going to encase you in lead and throw you to the bottom of the ocean. And as right. you realize this, you turn around to see that James is watching. And he says, I'd hope we'd get a little bit further out into the ocean before we had to do this. It's happening now! And he grabs a bell and bang, 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 And you realize the ambush has started and you are being attacked by the rest of your cultists. Great. You, You're a cultist. You, ah. you, remember, you, you remember yourself fighting to the fighting to tooth and nail with these guys. That you, you managed to easily uh, slaughter a bunch of them. But it's the battle fi- finds its way onto the deck of the ship, and you find that you are being outnumbered, and you you're starting to gain uh, gain ground as you move uh, out into the open deck, and uh, and you realise that the the fight could go either way. It seems that James realises this as well, and in a, in a desperate plea, he reaches out and he grabs hold of your face, and you see his 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 robes rip open, and he grabs a hold of a an amulet to the tree of life, and he shouts. By the power of the tree of life, I will give my soul in this life and the next to make this woman your vessel. Bite better down her evil ways and make her yours. Please, tree of life, she is yours if I am not. And then you see his eyes start to glow. And you see his skin starts to glow. And his skin starts to burst with light as his as his as his worldly vessel starts to be it consumed at his own sacrifice. And then you look around yourself through the fingers of his hands and you see that the rest of the crew are starting to burst with light as well as the tree of life starts to burn burn from their chests on amulets until everyone around you is just disintegrated into light and you are left with this searing pain in your head. And suddenly the antlers shed, hitting the ground. And then you feel that's the last thing you uh, remember until you go unconscious and fall to the ground. Right. And, And then you woke up. Not knowing who you were, not knowing why you were there, just knowing that you had a purpose to help and heal people, and you had been taken for the tree of life. Oh. I was obviously inherently evil before this. Then, uh, oh, were you a bad guy? I was. <laughs> so but of you, but now you're a good reason. guy. Question mark. The rest of you, as you, um, as you, as you see the the Lamia uh, talking to Barb in this way, realizing that there's some familiarity there, uh, Ben and Torok. You look at Bob slightly differently for the first time and realize that with the antlers and the red skin, she looks an awful lot like the bloody reindeers that you've seen in your dreams, Ooh. saying, I'm in too deep, please help me. Oh. As you're all watching this, Bob, you feel yourself starting to grow and the rest of you feel it's starting to grow as well. As the realization of who you once were manifests in your mind, you also get a realization of who, what you were once capable of. And you see the lower half of Bob 
the, the clothing on it tears open as her legs become not oh, one wow. pair of legs, but two pair of legs. And she oh, becomes, oh, put and it she away, becomes in a very similar way to the, <laughs> uh, the Lamia right? in front of you. Oh. In a very similar way to the Lamia in front of you, you can see a, a oh. centaur-like oh. reindeer standing in front of you with reindeer antlers oh. and a reindeer's lower half. What the fuck? <laughs> Talia says, No, I have worked too hard for 35 years to achieve my reign. You will not take it from me now, Lana Red. I ain't trying I to do nothing. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't even know who the bad guy here is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's this Talia chick. I need yeah. you all to roll initiative. Make Rolling sure initiative. Come, your, um... come on in with... Oh, that's not me. That's me. Initiator to... Come on, be better this time. A little bit. It's not too bad. Oh, hang on. Was I not... Se I didn't select something. Hang oh, on. what? I was selected on myself, but I didn't go into the turn order. 0.09. Oh, oh, Alfie, come on! Good. What the hell? Roll 20! <laughs> Um, come you, on! Should, should I roll again, or can come you just insert man, me into the turn me. order? What, uh, yeah, what happened? Did you? What did you get, sir? I, I was selected, but it didn't... Oh, it so didn't, that was you? Might, might have been a problem on my end. Oh, I'm not in there either. Oh, so, so, so yeah, ignore that. Awesome? One, I got, a, I, got a, I got a six. I, I got, I got a, um, eleven. Point one. Oh, if you got a six, there you go. Oops. And I got a twenty-one point... One yeah, I thought that well. return the send result. 18, I thought that was you. from me. So, Rob, I'm not in the turn order either. You're not? What happened? All right, what did you get, sir? Uh, 21. Uh, 21. Add a turn. There we go. Tordok, 21. He's probably just lying. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I, I was totally. I got a, a seven, <laughs> 73. <laughs> oh, can you guys not actually? I thought you guys. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Just messing. All right, let's see. Lamy has got a turn. Who has not got a turn yet? Uh, Tima has not got a turn. Um, let's give him a turn. Add a turn. Tima. How do you roll? How do you roll a zero? Oh, you've got minus one in the Yeah, you've got, got minus. You've got minus. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll toilet as well. Be back in one second. No worries. Um, and then some of these guys. I don't like how many how many people have surrounded us right now. There's a lot of people. There's also an elf woman and a masked yeah. man. In the top right, is that a kid hanging out with the orc up there? I don't want to. Yeah. That's, a, a, that's a halfling. Oh, it's a halfling. Oh, right, right. I saw that and I was like, mm -hmm. okay. mm. <laughs> things are about to get very dark. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what happens here, we'll remember it. This is going to be, <laughs> it's probably going to be a very scarring memory, no matter yeah. how this plays out. Um, actually, he gets a 20, not natural. All right. All right. So that's where, that was them. That was them. Uh, out of turn for this one. Two for them, thankfully for you guys. All right. So we'll wait for Adam's return while I put this into descending order. Shoop. Um, Torok, ready for a fight as always. Uh, you you see this? Um... Let me zoom out so I can see the whole map. There we are. You see this thing going sideways, and you are you you, f you feel like this this lamia this this half uh, lion woman is beautiful and and uh, definitely worth your attention. But mm -hmm. you also know that she's a threat. You're not necessarily charmed by her as of yet. Yeah, um, I'm I'm but, pretty torn. She's beautiful, yeah. <laughs> but you also but, you also look behind you and see that there are there are people closing in from all sides. But she's um, so hot, damn it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what to do? What, what to, to do? do? What to do? Um, these people are innocent, I must say. Yeah, I, that, that's a good. You, you raise a good point, Zaza. We should focus on Talia. I, I want to scream, like <laughs> a Goliath scream, and tell the people to leave. I want to. All right. Get can everyone make, out of the square. Can you make an intimidation check with disadvantage, please? Uh-oh. 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 Oh, not too bad. It's pretty good. Not 16. Bad. All right. 16 is pretty good. Um, you scream, and you see that there's, like, genuine terror in the woman's face right here in front of you. 
um, and she oh, and she backs off. It seems like she's going to start to run. Uh, this guy who's walking up behind you as well, like, is a bit taken aback, um, and you're not really close enough to do a heck of a lot to the other people around. But you've you've frightened off of the people who are in your immediate vicinity. It seems. Um, can I? I can't move and attack now. That was my action. Uh, so that would be your action to do. But you can now do a movement and a bonus action if you've got anything. Um. I think I'm just going to, for now, start moving towards my posse here. All right. And we're, just, we're going to form a tight proximity. All right. Um, and that's me. I'm sorry, I just so, back off towards my group. It is now Tima's turn. She, uh, as she shouts, uh, as she shouts that it's not, it's not her. She's not worked this hard for you to walk in and take it from her again, Lana Red. Um, she, she sort of, uh, you see people start to move in around you and particularly the guy who came in from behind he is going to uh, let's see who he can who can he do how far is he from everybody if he moves to here then he can try one of you um, all right spellcaster knows spellcaster game recognizes game so he is going to uh, he's going to move in towards the uh, the center here and you see that he's He's got the. He's, he's like a very beautiful man. He's got sort of um, dark skin, and he's got beautiful beard and, uh, and long flowing hair that's all kind of wavy. And he sees you, Zaza. He looks at you, and he he sort of gives you a, a very seductive kind of wink and a, blows you a kiss. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh. Zaza, now is oh. not the time <laughs> to be seduced. <laughs> <laughs> wisdom saving throw. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very um, nice. As 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 handsome as this gentleman is, and has as uh, charming, it seems like it's just not the right time. They're like there's a time and a place, and you're, you're not. <laughs> excuse, me. excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Um, that is, and then and then you see him uh, seemingly upset that it didn't work, and so he pulls out two daggers instead. <laughs> uh, it's, it's yeah, just um, like my old Tinder dates. And then it is the... <laughs> oh, charm hasn't worked. Time for the dagger. <laughs> uh, he's. Uh, let's see. She doesn't want to get close to these ones. She says. Um... She says, if we can't, if we can't use these people like meat. Then we'll eat them like meat. Get Whoa. them! Um, oh! And she, turns, and she turns and bounds this way on her lion-like legs, and then with a, a leap, she jumps up onto the rooftop here. Um, it's a single-story roof, and then she starts to basically prowl. Oh. Um, that is. Uh, let's see what can she do. She's going to from the top. Um, she's going to try and. Uh, Will this work? Let me check. Number 14. Mm -hmm. Can you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Uh, w -w 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 wisdom. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 13. Wisdom. 13. All right. Unless that I can do it with is... advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Let me double check how this works. She says, she turns and says, um, You there, metal man. I suggest you hurt this big oaf of yours, pointing to Torok. Um, oh. And you consider for a second turning and hurting Torok, and then you think, no, I don't think I will. Oh. I'm, 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 good. I'm sorry, I'm... madam, that does not c compute. I won't do that. <laughs> I'm confused yes. as to why you even considered it for a moment, but... <laughs> in, in fact, it was right. kind of even silly to consider, wouldn't, wasn't it? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Fourteen. You're up, uh, robot Huber. Um, I'm gonna head over to Mr. Mustache Man, and mm -hmm. and introduce him to the end of my great axe. Nice. I can. Get I can it, presume I can man. definitely make that. Yeah, I can definitely make that. Yeah, yeah, that's enough for speed. Do I? Uh, is this little round thing in the middle here? Is is this a little pedestal? Do I have the high ground, Anakin? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have the high ground because you're eight foot tall. Yes. <laughs> Whee! Okay, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach him what my great axe feels like. 25, 12, 12 plus 20. Six. With a 12 yes. plus 6. Oh, yeah. Oh, and can can I just, I may as well, while I'm here, divine smite in his face. 
True, you can pump in a Divine Smite if you've got uh, spell I feel, slots I, left. I feel, I feel like he's... I think I've got two spell slots left still. Uh, actually, no, yeah, I won't, I because we're going to have to deal with her later on. Th- no, no, I'll just yeah, do it. Yeah, 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 maybe so. You cast them. Thunderous Smite, didn't you? No, you... you no, I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't yeah, in the end. You were going to and didn't. Yeah. Uh, but you did cast Divine Smite, yeah, so yeah. that's... Yeah. One so I've got two. So I've got two. Left. Yeah, um, which I did mark off. Oh, I didn't mark off, actually. But I have you should have more than two left, shouldn't you? I've only got... No, he's a half... As a paladin, you're a half caster. You don't get as many spells. Oh, right. I've only got three. Uh, so I'm just gonna um, just gonna do that. Twelve plus six. That's all. Cool. Uh, Twelve plus six. He takes that damage. Uh, he is still standing, but he doesn't seem to have enjoyed that at all. I bet. Um, I bet. <laughs> Um, Rob, can uh, we ever with the great axe? Can we attack the, uh, more like with the yeah. swinging motion? Can we attack more than one target, or is it always it's like it? It's not. It's not something that's in uh, in D and D rules as normal. I usually say that if you exceed their normal it, their hit, hit points that they've actually got and like overkill them, then yeah. I usually let some uh, amount of damage go through to the next guy as well. Right, right, right. Which I did okay. to the Zvats in our first episode. Yeah, you did that with the Zvats. Um, All right. right. So you strike this guy, poof, it's, he seems to take it, um, but he's he's not enjoying that at all. And then, uh, Bob, it's now your turn. Um, as, you, just... as you start to grow, you realize that you have some spellcasting abilities. You have some magical uh, that not, don't just come from your cleric um, abilities, but come from a much darker deity that, that you used to worship. Oh. A man, a man called right. Grast, a man who was a demon lord and once a devil. A man who excels in hedonism and debauchery and lusts of the flesh. A man that you used to be uh, a devout worshipper of. He seemingly has still got some sway over your body and uh, hence your Lamia uh, abilities. Great. I'm, what do you do? <laughs> I've woken up. I've spent 30 years on the earth and now I have lion legs, like all in the matter of a second. I think I'm just going to back up to these guys here form the little circle and brandish a dagger perhaps because sure. I don't, you I grab that didn't... dagger out trying to make yeah. sense of all of this um you also remember that you are much older than 35 yeah but you had already for... you had already you'd already been alive for well over 100 years before you even uh, boarded the ship you are quite uh, quite old by human standards at least all right. Um, so you get ready. So you're using the ready action. So um, are you using the dodge action? Um, the ready action. Ready action. So if somebody enters your space, you stab them with a dagger. Great. Don't anyone All right. come. <laughs> Zaza, come <laughs> right. Are we attacking it's everybody? Or was, who's bad? Yeah, I don't, bad. I don't well, no, the, I understand who the I, I feel like the only bad guy so far is the guy that tried to... Um, yeah, the moustache and the... Yeah, yeah. The if, everyone else is pretty innocent in this. I mean, probably. even the moustache like, guy... It was I feel like, like they might... Know, he's definitely Talia's right-hand man, though. But yeah. I think I think some of the others might be forced to attack us because of yeah. the Plague or G spell. But until they do, maybe we leave them alone? Yeah, I don't feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. attacking people who are just kind of hanging around. I feel like the only baddies at this stage are really just... Uh, how do I ping it? Bloody, Bloody old well, these lion guys... pants. Hold, hold down, click. Dash face. These guys that moved out of the way from us were the ones having the orgy, so it's kind of uncomfortable they're getting closer. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, only, there's, only two, there's only really like the two, two baddies at this stage that we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stage, yeah. As Ben says, the even, others may even, attack even us. Mustache, even Moustache Man is kind of like, he only tried to, he hasn't done anything in particular. Yet. We're only assuming... Well, he's brandishing two daggers. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, he, yeah. He, he, he got out part. two daggers. He's definitely planning on attacking us. Okay, well, let, let, let's, uh, maybe I'll, I'll try a bit of uh, hideous laughter on, on Old Man. Nice. On old mate, which is the old mate. Uh, well, Rowan, oh wait, do, does hideous laughter, Rowan? Does that only work on one person or lots? Because you could try get one. a bunch of the. Oh, oh, oh let me check. Let me check. Hideous laughter is a, a one-person spell. Oh, it's a target. Okay, spell. Hang on. Me, the, the, I've got fog turn, hideous laughter, magic missile, silent image. Now I was thinking about thunder wave, but I feel like that might affect um, you, my my comrades as well. No, thunder wave is a is a, a force of cube a cube of poof, thunderous energy that blasts out from you. So as oh, long as you, your comrades aren't in front of you. Oh, okay, uh, might not be quite the right time to do that yet. Um, I think push people back if they fail a save. I might try and uh, I, I don't fully know what the threat is yet. So I might just try. 
If in doubt, magic missiles. <laughs> Is it going to? If, uh, at at Mustache Man. Mustache Man? All right. Right. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> uh, I, I, never mind. You, you do. Oh, what was your suggestion? What I was, was your suggestion? I was going to suggest if she's going to start turning all these people against us that maybe trying a hideous laugh to her is a good idea. Let's try a bit of hideous... I like that suggestion. I'm going to try and hideous laughter... Uh, t- is it Talia? Talia. Sure. It sounds pretty risky, though. Uh, I don't know if it'll Alrighty. work. But... Okay, so hideous laughter. Make, I believe, so you're clicking hideous laughter so I can see what she has to make. I think it's a wisdom save. Yes. Trivia choice, blah, blah, blah. It Hilariously is. funny, wisdom saving throw. All right, so wisdom save. She gets a... Lovely modifier to that. That's going to be a 19 total, so I believe that beat, uh, oh, exceeds your DC, and unfortunately right. it does not work. But you yeah. still make the joke. What was the joke that she fails to laugh at? <clears throat> oh, no. Uh, Fuck it excuse up. me. Excuse me. Uh, Talia. Excuse me. Yes. Over there. yes. How do you make... Beautiful elven man. How do you make holy water? <laughs> I don't know, and she leans down on her her lion legs. How do you make holy water? Boil the hell out of it. <laughs> Boil the hell out of it. That's clever. It's witty. And then she stands to her feet and seems to not, <laughs> not been that funny. <laughs> Good job, Zaza. Baby, <laughs> baby, come up with some new material, baby. <laughs> need to, need to get, get together a type five for your hideous laughters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, all right, so you're gonna... observational humor, baby. <laughs> so that was your action to cast that. Um, do you do anything for your movement or your bonus action? I don't really know where to go or what to do, so I can't really think of. No, I don't have a plan. Back to so back. No. Circle back with back these guys. Back. Yeah, for now. All right. Alfie, you're up. All right, let's do this. Uh, so, first of all, I want to cast a spirit totem. Oh, nice. What about those? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, so I think I, hang on, let me, it's been a while, so I drag that out there, I believe, yes, that's what I wanted, the bear. Nice. You want the bear one? Yeah. All bear right. Bear in. Yeah, so, so that should help the, whatever strength, I believe. It's a bonus, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bo- that's my yeah. bonus action. What, so, is it, what does uh, it do? Very swiftly. Um, it gives you advantage on strength checks and saves, so if you're uh, breaking a grapple or something, it makes that easier. Um, it also gives you temporary hit points when it's um, when it appears for the first time. Oh, so we yes. all get... A f- oh, is that the one we get seven hit points or something? Yeah, you get five plus my druid... Plus, uh, what was it? Uh, d- 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 five plus my druid level, so eight. Which is now three. So yeah. eight. Every, so, uh, everybody of his choice, presumably just his allies, um, gets yeah. eight, hit, eight temporary hit points. So you so can we... add that to your temporary hit points part of your character sheet. And yep. do it now or on our turn? Do it, do it right now. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, on Alfie's turn, he, he speaks out to, to this bear spirit that he once knew and <laughs> summons him from the ground. <laughs> this bear comes out of the uh, mattresses that are lying on the uh, soggy ground. And... <laughs> <laughs> on the soggy ground? <laughs> <laughs> and his, what, what was the eight, eight extra? Yeah, eight extra. And yeah. your temporary slot. Yeah. Please. Anything as your action or movement, Alfie? Yes, my action. I turn into a panther. Oh, nice. Nice. Ah! Everybody's You're becoming the animals around you. Yeah. Woman, Talia. Everybody's becoming animals around you. Cool. Yeah. Uh, moving anywhere, Alfie, or staying where you are? No, I'm staying here to protect everybody with my pants and right. teeth and clothes. It is now the cultist's turn, which is the people around you. Oh, um, goodness. What's going to happen here? I need everybody. I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Um, The people she touched and influenced, uh, Torok and Alfie, you guys have disadvantage. Oh, Uh, wisdom saving. So that's an eight and a seven from you two. Damn. Three Three from from me. Even with advantage. Haven't done great at all. Uh, Rowan's got the ten, and Britt's got the four. Uh, this has not been great for you. Shit. Um, Brit, actually, Brit, you would have advantage on this for obvious reasons. Um, and so you get the 20. So Brit saves. I believe oh. Rowan might save as well. Let me just double check it. I don't want to be um, going forward with wrong information here. Uh, cultist, seduce, blah, blah, blah. 
Yeah. So Rowan, um, Zaza, you you get you turn around back to back with these people, wondering who's the enemy, who's not, and you see a whole bunch of people are starting to like wander your way, um, and just having a good old time, enjoying it, being all seductive as they can, and come join us, have some fun. There's a mattress right here. Take your clothes off. You want a drink? And start holding out holding out bottles and. Uh, you want some? Oh, I've got some mushrooms. You want some yeah, mushrooms? Oh. I've got some elven wine. <laughs> a few people having a good old time. Um, yeah, the <laughs> three who the three who got below a ten, um, you guys are all charmed for the for the duration. Uh, so you that means that you cannot willingly Ooh. attack any of the you cannot willingly attack any of the cultists. Ooh. Um, oh dear! How how long does that last for? Uh, well, uh, you'll you'll see when it ends. Oh, damn it. <laughs> all right. So I'm not. I I just managed to avoid being charmed. You you managed to just avoid it. You 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 feel <laughs> seduced by these people but to the point where, thankfully thankfully for you, you're rather racist and xenophobic, and so most of these are humans, <laughs> humans yes. and orcs and halflings, and you're like, oh no, not you. Oh yes. You're and just you're like the one the one elf in crowd. This person you're down here. I'm just like, ew. Ew. <laughs> you smell funny, like cabbages. <laughs> smell like peasants in the middle ages yeah yeah so that's what you are. <laughs> it wasn't right, your smell um, i'd be maybe into this yeah that is their turn um and then they they see that you are you have made the save and so a bunch of them start to drag out drag out daggers and like sharp uh, carving knives and just mm -hmm. general sort of uh general sharp implements and start to approach zaza and um uh, and bob who both made their saves <sighs> All right, then it is back to the top of the round with Todok. So Todok's um, pretty in, in, into this. He's charmed, um, so <laughs> yeah. I can't willingly attack Just any. Undressing himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he, um, I, so I can't willingly attack anybody around me. Um, Not any of the cultists. No, you can. So I, uh, I go. This guy, the guy with the mustache. He, he doesn't seem that charming to you right now because he's he's a different um, creature, as it were. Yeah, right. Uh, and and the woman on the uh, on the rooftop, obviously, you can you can attack her. If you yeah, that's what I, that's what I was thinking. Is I I'm just charmed. I'm like ooh, and I just bring up my bow and arrow. I'm like ooh. <laughs> ooh <yeah. laughs> I'll, I'll get and to I, you in a I, second. I, I just I'll need to finish some business. I just need to deal with this bitch. <laughs> 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 um, right, so I aim my long your, bow at yeah. Um, make your longbow attacks. At her d -d 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 longbow. A 19, oh, yeah. that oh, is yeah. going to nice. hit, I believe. Even amidst seduction, I'm a yes, it will. cracking good shot. <laughs> nice. Good work. All right, uh, yeah. so 19 hits, and it causes six damage to her. As you're like, yeah, yeah, hey, tell me more. <laughs> I'm like, you're looking for, for, and they're like, oh, you're so big. you got such big muscles. Like, I know, tell me, tell me about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you feel one of them uh, in, into her, and you turn, and sure enough, it hit its mark right into the side of her ribs. Ah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to impress these That's people. It. I'm like, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not even I, looking. I may be horny, but I'm still accurate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, you you managed to uh, pierce the lamia with your arrow. Uh, anything else as a movement or bonus section? Um. No. No, I'm just. I have to wait to see what happens with these people coming up to me. I, All right. Yeah. Uh, it is now Tima's turn. Tima I'm open to try uh, anything once. <laughs> the cultist fanatic. Yeah, yeah. He is going to. Let's see. Uh, he's getting attacked by. He hasn't tried the Warforged yet. It's an unlikely situation, but he's got to try. Um, he looks up at you and says, "See you, Warf uh, number fourteen." He says, "That was that was quite the hit you gave me there." You got some real strong muscles on you. Why, yeah, thank you. They were created for me. Can you make um? Can you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Oh God, I don't have good wisdom. Stop making me do this. <laughs> yeah, if I put my hawk, totally no, I... would have had advantage on wisdom. Actually, you have advantage on it because it's a charm effect. And okay, eighteen. Human. Um, it seems like he, he he knew it was a long shot, but he thinks, ah, oh, damn it. And and uh, and then you see him <laughs> you see him go to try and skirt around you. Let's have a look. Is he living uh, my Miller range? Yeah, I'm deciding that now. Uh, it's pretty dangerous for him to do so. But I you... have the high ground, Anakin. 
<laughs> yeah, you are you are pretty dangerous. So he is going to leave your melee range, so you get an attack of opportunity on him. Well, do this. Hey, do and I'm it. like, Ex excuse me, you complimented me. Where are you going? And <laughs> and excuse I... me, you forgot this. Hey, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you what my built muscles can do. And I 21 great axe with 8 21, slashing. 21 hit. 8 does not kill. Um, what? So it does, but it does wound. Why Why earlier, this is a roll 20 question or a D&D question, why earlier yeah. did I get 12 plus 6, and this time I only get 8 plus nothing? Because because oh, earlier you, got, you see that it was a, uh, a green 25. Uh, did, the, did the natural 20... Uh... It, it was a natural 20, and natural 20 is double the uh, dice roll. Ooh. Very nice. So if you roll over it, you see that you rolled a 9 plus 3 for the uh, 12, and yeah. then you rolled a 6 on the second one. Oh, very nice. This cool. one wasn't a crit, so you get the one. I see. I see All right, I see. so you hit him as he escapes, but he still manages to, to run across the, the mattresses, kind of bouncing him from side to side, um, until he gets to here, um, and then these two begin to close in around him. Cool. Um, he attempted to seduce, so he that's all he can do on his turn. Then it is the Lamia's turn. So she is going to... She's already used that. So what can she do then? Um, it's just once per day. Oh, once per day, that. Hmm. Uh-oh. Who is it likely to affect? Um, oh, big guy. Uh, Todok. Yes. Usually that's enough to differentiate in a, in a party, but I realize there's two of you. Um, Todok, um, yes. she doesn't seem to like being struck in the side by an arrow. She, she yanks it out and she says to you, she shouts across the plaza, if you ever use a ranged weapon on me again, it'll be the last thing you ever do. I need to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, no. I'm already seduced, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> If, okay. only, if only if it was with advantage. Yeah. So, uh, she is casting a spell on you with her words, um, and you feel like you feel the urgency of her words. You don't have to follow her. You don't have to follow her command to not hit her with ranged weapons anymore. Um, but if you do, the, you feel like there's some danger in there. Oh. Um, can you make an intelligence saving throw, please? Uh, an intelligence check for me. Intelligence check. Which is your strong suit, I'm sure. Uh, so can I just do the set uh, and the saving throw? Oh, it is uh, whoopsies! Um, yeah, with with that, you yeah, you, you're not you're not exactly sure what spell she was casting or mm. what the repercussions of it are, but you just know that if you try to hit her with a ranged weapon again, it it might be the last thing you ever do. Ooh, it sounds like the same thing Freddy had potentially. All right. Um, oh, I, I want to say I played that. And then she turns, she, she continues to sort of prowl around the outside. She's not like running anymore. She's just staying out of, uh, out of melee range, it seems. Um, and then she gets to this corner and just kind of rests and watches to see how her, how her minions do. Uh, then it is number 14. You're up. Um, I'm going to use command on, okay, cool. on, on Mr. Mustachio. Uh, All right, Mr. Mustachio, what are you what are you commanding um, me to do? So I'm going to click As command so everyone, everyone can read it. It's quite lengthy, but basically I can say one word, and if he fails, mm -hmm. he has to do that one word. Correct. Oh, wow. What is the one word? Um, and I'm, my word is come, and now <laughs> I know that may be confusing <laughs> in this scenario. It's C O M E, <laughs> come. <laughs> Um, I know, I know. In, the, in this context, uh, there could be confusion. <laughs> I just want to let him know this, the one I am saying is C O M E. So you're allowed to say one word. You're only allowed to say one word. He can interpret it how he wants. I, I, I got my so, 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 word. Die. <laughs> yeah. No, you, I don't. I don't think I can do that. I can't. Return. Return or something like. So not, can you please? Not... Can you please make, uh, can you tell me your DC? What's your spell save DC? So I know uh, I'm rolling. 12. 12, he got a 13. So either way, Damn it. Um, he God. says, he turns around and says, oh, happily. <laughs> <laughs> and then goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> And then he goes like, 
<laughs> yeah, and then his face contorts into some weird. Like, <laughs> uh... It is. Uh, sorry, no, that was your. So was number fourteen, that was your action. Um, Damn anything it. as a. As a <laughs> Damn it. Um, I'm. Do I do my like, come? And he's like, ah. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna charge up, which will be unfortunately my last spell slot. I'm gonna charge up thunderous smite. Yeah, I'm. I'm running last. Spell All right, slot. so you cast you, you cast thunderous smite. You feel you've got your axe out now, and it starts to and it's vibrating with uh, thunder energy sound energy um and it's ready for you the next time you smash someone with it no, no uh, i'm actually you... just gonna ch i'm gonna check command is a spell slot isn't it it's not a... it is yes okay yeah. cool yeah, so i, I checked that off and thunder smite and i'm out of spells sweet let's make the most of it then bob it is now your turn Yay, I'm gonna use a guiding bolt for some radiant damage hopefully right. that's ranged she's not gonna like this are you going for her? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Just as you said, don't range attack. So, like <laughs> obvious thing. Can you make can you make a religion check for me, please? Mm. Sure. Religion. This is the first time I will have done this, I think. Religion. Uh, religion. Oh yeah. damn! Oh, nice. So you you, you, you dig deep. To the, you you dig deep to the, uh, the the source of your your spellcast thing as a cleric, and you feel there are two voices in there that are answering now almost equally. Um, you feel, sorry, this is un un unfortunate uh, hand move motions. <laughs> this, this, context, this context is a difficult context. <laughs> you feel there are two voices within you. Feel around him. Answering the call. One is yeah. ghost, and one is, one is the tree of life. And with a 22, you oh, manage to, uh, you manage to uh, have the call answered by the tree of life. <laughs> uh, you feel the radiant energy to burn down your arm and fire out the, the fingertips. Can you make a, a an attack roll for me, please? So yeah, yeah, like yeah. We're doing it. There's a D. Is it a D six if it's level two, or is that? Um, you should it, just be able to increases. Spell. Yeah, you just click the spell on your spell spell sheet, and it asks you, do you want to cast it at level one or two? Level two, okay. level two does more damage if it hits. Okay. Level two. Level okay. two. I'll do level, level two. two. All right. Oh shit! Whoa. Holy moly! Ah. That is a lot of radiant damage. But if you look at the top there, it's an yeah, eleven. Oh no! <laughs> no. Unfortunately, the, the natural sort of lion armor of the the um the hard skinned lion eleven won't do it. Yeah, Oof, you blast off, but that momentary sort of hesitation within yourself as to who's answering this call, uh, it seems to be enough to just it, just muck up your aim just a little bit and it fires off. <laughs> she darts to the side as this radiant bolt hits the wall behind her. Holy crap, you got two <laughs> sixes, a five and a three. My god. Still have, still have the powers, I see, though. All right. Now, uh, anything for a movement, Bob, or a bonus action? Um, my cantrips. I don't have any, do I? It literally says um, zero. You should have cantrips as a, as a cleric, but you... Um, I don't know. And they're not, they, are they, I think they're all like action based, right? That would uh, be. I think probably, yeah, most cantrips are action based. Bonus. I think Shalali is one of the only ones that isn't. Okay, so I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to hang out where I am. I think I'm fine. Stay where you are. Awesome. Zaza, it's now your turn. So, what? Wh who's got that the sword that we got off the assassin? Me. Number 14. Uh, the sword. Okay, so I've, I'm pretty sure that that, that shit needs to, that, that needs to be used at some stage. Have we, have we got plans for that? Uh, yeah, maybe I could, if she comes closer, I could try that out. Are you, are you out. A, you're not charmed, are you? You can go and try and attack her if you want. Not, but... I'm not charmed by her. I am charmed by everyone oh. around me, though. Alright. But yes, I, uh, I could uh, I could go up there. She's quite far away, though. I don't know if I can get up there. Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to reach her. Uh, certainly not, not in one move, just because she's so far away. Yeah. Right. I could I can draw her towards me next time because I imagine well she got super pissed off that I shot her with an arrow and she was like if you do it again I'm I'm gonna kill you so maybe right. no you, it, it, no you could, you could have the old head explode thing like Freddy is what you could have uh, I'm, gonna take, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take my odds of <laughs> are you are you <laughs> I that Torrent just tries it again and your head immediately explodes and <laughs> and right thanks guys thanks for the game now if I want to do this I'm I'm not, 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 cloud of daggers. Sure. And I just all, all around me. Is that hurting allies as well? Um, I will read you the spell because, yeah. or I'll put it in chat if even better. Let's see if I can do that. Cloud of daggers. Ah, you mean it's not one that's on roll twenty? 
So I will look it up here instead. Uh, Grimoire, Cloud of Daggers. Um, it basically makes a five foot cloud of daggers and anything in that space gets shred up. By so I would say yes. <laughs> uh, you feel the air, you feel air with spinning daggers in a five foot cube on each side, um, centered on a point you choose within range. A creature takes 4d4 slashing damage when it enters the spell's area for the first time or starts its turn there. Okay, and, maybe Chuck uh, Cladic Daggers over old Moustache Face or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, um, the range on it is 60 yeah. feet, so let me just double check it's, your... Uh, I, I, I can shoot it, and, and then it's... Okay. Yeah. But, it's just within 60 feet, so you okay. can... You can uh, under the daggers daggers over the Moustachio. Moustachio! Um, so you read out this spell. Um, what is that? Realize dagger that dagger. Dagger, dagger for dagger. And... <laughs> And, and the spell, the, the scroll starts to burn away from the corners as soon as you finish it. For a moment, it seems like it's done nothing. Uh -oh. But then out of the ground, the cobblestones around him start to sharpen until there's like an earthquake in his very localized vicinity and all of them out of the ground and start just whizzing around him. And you see cuts appearing all over his body. Uh, he will take that damage at the start of his turn. Hey. Oh. Wonderful. Um, anything else you can uh, do? I mean, I... that that was my action. Uh, that was good. your action to read the spell. Yeah, you've got, a, spell. you've got a movement and a bonus. I mean, I don't. Uh, uh, maybe. I mean, oh, can I can I use some cantrips? Um, if it's a bonus action, you can use a cantrip. Yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe like a. Somehow, minor illusion is minor illusions an action. Oh, it's an action. Um, oh, I don't know. If I've got, I don't know what my bonus moves are. I don't know if you've got any bonuses. Okay, I'll, leave, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'm gonna hang out here. All right, it is now Alfie's turn. Alfie the Panther. Panther. Right. So I can't attack any of these guys. No, you feel you feel compelled to keep these guys uh, safe. Well, not really. I don't honest. really want to run into a cloud of daggers. <laughs> so. As a, as a panther, you feel like you would be able to leap up onto the top of these um, first story. Yeah, roof, that's what I'm thinking. Ideas. I'm thinking I jump up onto here. All right. And I growl menacingly at this Talia. And I go, ah, ah, I'm a panther. Ah. All right. Do you say right. you're a panther? Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm a panther. Yeah. And a pirate. Yeah. All right. So you jump onto there with your movement. You've still got yeah. an action and your bonus section. Yeah. There's not really much I can do. So I, as my action, I go. Yeah. I'm a pirate panther. Yeah. As as <laughs> as uh your you you can move again as a bonus action, can't you? Or you can, uh, yeah. As an action, you can take the dash action and double your movement. Oh, so I could, could double my movement. You, you could get closer. You get, you get your movement again as an action. So you could Ooh. get closer to her if, if you wanted. If you're doing nothing else with your action, then it's always worth dodging or dashing or disengaging. Yeah, right. Um, because I've got 50 movement, but mm -hmm. so can I? But I can't pounce on her, can I? Because pounce is an ability that I have, but would that, yeah, would that count as an action? Pounce is, uh, if you read it out, um, I believe it says that you have to move and then attack. If you move 20 yeah. feet straight and then attack with a blah, blah, blah. So you would find yeah, yeah, right. to, to jump across to the other side for your next turn. Yeah, maybe. Just so you're closer. Maybe I'll just jump to like here then. All right. So, boom, better boom. Yeah, all good. So you get to the, um, and anything else? So your bonus action or anything? No. No, I don't, I don't think I can do anything else. Anyway. Right. It is now the cultists' turn. Um, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Well, for a, start, for a start, this one here, uh, this one here, hmm. um, right. turns around and sees the cloud of daggers uh, starting to whip up and start to cut, him, cut um, the cultist fanatic there, sort of there, the second in command, and he poof, pushes him out of the space. Um, so oh. that he won't start his so that he won't start his turn in the space, but in doing so he gets into the space as well. And when he enters the spell, he's going to take the 4d4 damage. So I will roll that to save time. 4d4. Can... Oh, 12 damage. That's definitely more than he had as a cultist. Can we see he... where this cloud of daggers is? So like Mustachio couldn't walk back through that archway now, presumably. 
Uh, yeah, it, it lasts for how long does Clark Douglas live? That mustachio man had a really bad time. He like came out here and he was like, so concentration I, I, up to a minute. Yeah, so it, it lasts so for ten rounds. Bye. Some people. It lasts for ten rounds for as long as you are concentrating on it, Zaza. Uh, this guy is instantly killed by the the whirling stones and and daggers. And that's it. Work. So yeah, so uh, presumably he guys. won't. As long as Zaza keeps focusing, he's that mustachio man's kind of stuck there. Kind of stuck do I, there. Do it I seems. keep focusing on that spell? Uh, it's a concentration spell, oh, yeah. Okay. So as long as you keep concentrating on it, um, then it's fine. Okay. Um, so who who is not trammed by the cultists right now? It was Barb and Zazar, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So both of you are getting some attacks from daggers because they realize that their seduction on you has not worked. And once you succeed on it, you're immune to it for 24 hours. So then it can't try that again. Um, so they are just going to move up and take a whole bunch of dagger attacks. Oh, yeah. Um, boom, 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 boom. That's four on you. Let's Shit. see how many on the other side. Zaza, we've got one there. We've got I've got to say, here. this does not look good. <laughs> uh, and another one over here. Lots of people. So, Zaza, you are going to take three dagger attacks. Uh, and then, Bob, you are going to take six because you're the bigger threat right now. Bob is ready, though, right? Uh, she, that was her, the previous round. She cast a, a guiding bolt this round. Oh. Okay, so going to... Zaza. Zaza, first one is a six and won't hit. The second one is a seven and won't hit. Uh, the third one is a 21 and will hit and does three slashing damage. Okay, all right. I'll, so you're kind of... Mark, you're you're talking about the worse. You've got those temporary hit points. Yeah, yeah. Too, don't forget. Because one, you have... Because you've taken damage, I need you to make a concentration check to see if you can concentrate on the cloud of daggers. So that means a constitution saving throw, please. Constitution saving throw it here. Okay. Uh, Thirteen is enough. So you you even the, even the sharp pain across your side ah! you on the cloud. Ah! Ah! Um, and then Bob, you are going to take some dagger attacks. The first guy strikes you with a dagger for sixteen. What's your armor class, please? My armor class is uh, one second. It's thirteen. Thirteen. Yes. All right. Um, you take uh, two points of slashing damage from the first person. Uh, the second person misses. The third person also misses. The fourth person misses. Man, these guys are rolling shy. Uh, <laughs> no, they're the doing fucking terrible. One. One, two, three, three, one. I'm going to say that it's the it's the lady here, and she accidentally stabs this orc. And <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, then it is. Uh, I think that's all of them. They can either seduce or dagger, and they're not going to dagger the people who've already seduced, so that is everyone. All right, then it is Toldok, back to the top of the round. What these people doing? attack. Am I still seduced by these people stabbing me now? Like, well, Let me check, let me check. Uh, yes, you are still... No, no, you haven't been seduced at all, Torok. They, di they deliberately didn't stab you for that reason. Ah, very cool. Um, and, and, and I'm sweet with, with these guys. guys. Yeah, you I... still feel like you're know, having some fun times with these. Should I still shoot my bot? I'm, I'm just going to go. I'm still going, yo, check this out. And I'm going to shoot towards the mustache man. The mustache um, man. All right. Yeah. Because I just want, he has to die. Um, he has, uh, he has, I'm, I'm going to say he has three quarters cover because he's currently behind the uh, the guard that's hold, that's deliberately standing in his uh, way and also a cloud of daggers behind him. You see so what you I do, though, is I shoot over. <laughs> I just raise. You do like right up into the ear and like perfectly time it. I know, I just, I just, uh, so make an, make an attack. And uh, uh, the three quarters cover gives him a plus five to his AC. Oh shit. Hey, that's fine. That's no worries. So you still might be. Oh, oh, oh. With nice. Yep, with the 22, that still hits. So three, so you, you're not even looking, <laughs> trying to, sort of, trying to uh, entertain these people. Hey. Or already, like, <laughs> to <laughs> hey, Torok, is this fun? Oh, yeah. He, comes down, he comes down on the other side, and you and you hear him go. Ah, he's still alive. He's sticking out of his particle. <laughs> he's he's looking bad, but he's still alive. God damn it! Lord. Die! Um, he's at the worst point. time. He came out here. He was like, "I'm going to seduce some people." And I'm then he's seduce just <laughs> just <laughs> and he's going, no, "I'm going to get out of here." <laughs> just like on the old Tinder dates. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Getting hit by an axe. Like <laughs> Just um, like my old Bonus, nothing. <laughs> nah, I got nothing. All right, it's now his turn. He is 
not in range to try and seduce any of you now, so he can't do that. Instead, he is going to use some spells. Uh, oh, is he still choosing to fight? What an idiot. It's not turned out well for him so far. He's, he steps off to the side so he can see a little better down the um, rest of the goings on. And Barb, since you are the one out there in the um, uh, the one that's sort of head and shoulders above everybody else right now, I he's gonna he's gonna target you, and I need you to make a I think it's a wisdom save. Let me just double check it. Um, well, these are wisdom saves. Uh, yep. Um, I did it. Ooh. You did a wisdom save. What was it? Ten. Ten. Advantage of fifteen. Do I have advantage on this? I do. Um, four advantage. No, on this one you wouldn't. This is not oh. a seduction. This is um, this is a different thing. Right. Yeah, wisdom saving through. I'll be, ch be charmed by you for the duration. All right. So, um, Bob, you uh, you feel this guy m move out, and he, he's not trying to seduce you, but he is trying to he's trying to affect your mind. And with a ten, unfortunately, he manages to succeed. Oh, while the rest of, while the rest of you watch as Bob is sort of fighting off these people trying to stab her with daggers. Um, or trying to stab each other with daggers, is the case, maybe. Um, you see a a sort of misty cloud almost appears above her head, just in the immediate vicinity, and then it seems to solidify and and condense into a twisted crowd, uh, twisted crown of jagged iron uh, appearing above her head, which then slots down onto her head, even around the antlers. Oh God! And and you see that her eyes, already black um, without pupils and whatnot, seem to just go a little bit crazy, kind of jackal weird style. Uh, you are considered charmed by him for the duration, and you must use your action before moving on each of your turns to make a melee attack against a creature other than yourself that uh, he chooses. So he oh. can force you to attack someone that you're next oh, to. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Okay. Can you guys um, stop getting charmed? This is, on her, this is on her next turn, though, <laughs> right? So we come in, Orgy, no matter what we're doing. Play, Gorgie. Play, Gorgie. Play, Gorgie. <laughs> play, Gorgie. <laughs> Go on. Okay. But you guys obviously don't know that that's the effect. You just know that a, an, an iron crown has appeared around her head and she's kind of gone a little bit uh, slack in the face. Yeah. Um, then he is going to step back behind the... In fact, he's just going to go back behind the wall here. <laughs> um, then it is the Lamia's turn. She sees you jump up onto the thing, Panther, and, she's, and she sort of smiles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then she yeah, is going to... Yeah. Why don't she? She sort of wanders over, prowling like, and she says, "Why don't you go and attack that reindeer? That seems like the sort of thing that panthers would like to eat." What? Um, can you make a wisdom saving throw with uh, advantage? Oh uh, with god! Advantage because of we're getting uh, fucked up. With so it, to with do it. that, do I click on Elfie's things or the panther? Uh, pa uh, you keep your mental stats when you transform as a druid, so you, it's right. Elfie. Elfie, okay. Wisdom saving throw. Did you say? Wisdom saving throw. With advantage. Oh, dang. Wow, there you go, Alfie. That's my boy. Yeah, boy. That's With my disadvantage, boy it was 24. So that was, that was yeah. a good roll. So this suggestion enters your mind, and you kind of look over to see the, the reindeer. And this is when it really hits you that Bob came to you in your dream, unbeknownst to even herself, asking you to help her because she got in so deep with the, the cult and she, she needs saving. And you realize, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hurt her. And you turn back to the Lamia, and she realizes it hasn't worked. Not nice. today, Lamia. <laughs> not today. All right. Call me loyal. Save. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's all she can do. And on her turn, she is going to, she's just gonna walk right up to you. Ah, oh, that's um, annoying. I want to get yeah. away from you. Yeah, she she knows she knows things. That's uh, all right. 40. That's all right. I can still work. So if that. I'm thirty feet, if I'm there, I can see little dude around the corner. Hey, that's line of sight to him. Oh uh, yeah, if you if you get there, you can. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get. Oh, I'm gonna move myself with the moving tool. Oh shit! Ah, screw it. I know how far I was going. There. Yeah. Um. And <laughs> all right. As you enter the as you enter the um the guard space here, he had readied an action because he had nothing else on his turn. He'd read it in action that if you came close, he was going to hit you. So he reaches out uh, and tries to strike you with his weapon, but thankfully for you, only gets a six, and it and clangs off of your armor without doing anything. And he's an idiot. Um, I'm going to biff a javelin at Mustachio. Cool. So you 
you reach up and whoosh, throw a javelin. Thirteen. Ah. Thirteen. You're right. You're right. He does, have, he does have half cover from where he is at the moment, so he gets a plus two to his AC. Uh, and unfortunately, a thirteen will not hit. No. It, it, it I'm like going to shoot an arrow over the roof. The corner, of, him. the corner of the wall and <laughs> gets deflected around him. Ah. That was your attack. Uh, that was your action, rather. So uh, you've used most. You've used your movement and your attack. Anything as a bonus. Your your uh, great weapon is still vibrating with thunderous yeah, energy. I don't think I can do anything else as a bonus action, to be honest. All right, so there we are then. Um, Bob, it is now your turn. Can I? So because I've I've been like enchanted, I can't do anything. Of my own volition, I can't make any of my own spells work for anybody else. Like any you can after spells. you after you turn and and see the um, uh, see the elf standing next to you, this horrible, arrogant, self entitled son of a bitch who who feels he's better in the world than he really is. Oh, so, so, feel so, compelled so. to try and attack him. Um, so make an attack with uh, what weapons do you have? You have a. You said you had a dagger out. Oh yeah, I've got a dagger out. I'm glad I. I'm glad, no, I, I'm glad I took that plus four. one shot. Oh. Yes. Natural one. It's only four. You... Wait, what? Natural one. Uh, so yeah, you strike out at Zaza. Zaza. Can you make an Arcana check, please? Me? No, uh, Zaza. Oh, okay. he's the one who's he's the one who's studied magic, so he might oh. be able to work out what's going on. Hang on. Arcana. Bar, you, you bitch. Natural 20. You, uh, you sort of turn to, to check that everybody's still in like a tight circle with you and you're still safe. And as you turn, you happen to have turned uh, just to coincide with the fact that Bob is now looking at you and, dr and driving down with a dagger. Boom, you bring up your hand and block it. Um, and then you realize that she's wearing a crowd of, crown of madness. And you, you're you not sure who's done it, but you're pretty sure probably the mustachioed dude. Um, and, she, and you recognize the spell. It is an enchantment spell that uh, forces them to act to the other person's will. Uh, now you can use your movement, but you've used your action to try and attack Bab. Oh, Bab. You met. Wait, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, you, sorry. You've, used, you've used your sorry. action to try and attack. Now you can use your can movement I, if you want. I've got a bonus action, though. I've got, I found something that gives uh, me a bonus action. So the Shield of Faith I can give to somebody? And it an gives action. a bonus? I think you can use it yourself as well. Yeah, yeah you can do that. So you can choose any of your allies or yourself to uh, to receive this shield of faith, giving you a plus two uh, to your AC. I'm going to give that to somebody who does more than I do. So maybe to Tower Rock. So give me give to him a little sneaky, sneaky shield. So you try and attack Zaza, and then you kind of shake out of it just long enough to turn and. Um, can you make a religion check for me, please, before you cast sure. the spell? Sorry, I had to flick between these things, and it's just. Where are you? There. Yeah. 21. You, you dig down deep and you feel the call is answered by the tree of uh, tree of life again. And and uh, Torok, you get sheathed in this golden sort of light energy that mm. almost solidifies about an inch from your body, just giving you a little bit more protection from uh, physical attacks. So you've got a plus two to your AC. Plus two to AC, hell yeah, bringing that up to fifth boot. And then you stay where you are, Bob? Yeah, yeah, I'll stay here. All right. Zaza, it is now your turn. Having just been attacked by your ally, but knowing that it wasn't her own volition. Right. I'm going to take to take a movement to about. Uh, You're stepping out here? of a lot of people's melee range. Oh, hand stepping out of melee range. Uh, what's the? Everybody will get yeah. attack opportunity. They can, on you. Yeah, they can choose to use their reaction to uh, attack you for free if they want to. Uh, maybe I, I was going to step out and then cast thunder wave in, in a direction. You can so try. Just, you could just cast thunder as long as you stay, away from as long as you stay within five feet of them, then they don't get an attack of opportunity. It's when you it's when you leave their uh, threatening range. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, well, if I go to like here, that not a, is that okay? You haven't moved for me yet. I haven't seen you. Oh, oh, sorry. There it is. Yeah. So yep. Yeah, so this guy, you're leaving his melee range, so he'll get an attack, but these two won't because you're staying okay. in the melee. You just you kind can of push through them. Uh, and I'm gonna. So, I'm gonna oh, do, do that part first. Yeah, one of them hits you for two damage. Okay, what uh, is? To the guy who you leave, and then I also <laughs> need to make a constitution what save. What is? Uh... So you can maintain oh, constitution the save. Uh, it is. Yeah, you maintain the you maintain oh, yeah. focus on the cloud of daggers. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh well, I'm about to do a new spell now. So is that gonna ruin the cloud of daggers? Only if it's uh, a only if it's a concentration spell. 
Okay, it's gonna be. I'm gonna do a, a thunder, um, on, thunder wave. I'll, I'll, I'll hang, hang it out. That's the yep, thunder wave do, will not break your concentration because it's just an instantaneous effect. Um, it's a concentration thing. And, and that's kind of like to down uh, uh, and this down and to the left. Yeah. Yeah, 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 this way. So that it won't hit Torok. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Nice. So that is a 15 foot cube. So I believe that'll hit every all five of them there. What about the yeah. sixth person? What about this person here as well? Oh no. Um, if he if he if he wants to hit that person, he'll hit Torok. Oh, okay. How do you feel about that, Torok? <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm charmed. I just do you do you? No, okay. I won't get that person. I'll I'll, I'll leave Torok. Right. So these five starting with uh, starting oh, with this person. No, if you, if you get Torok as well, you might even be able to get this lady as well. Let me double check. Uh, from there to mm. there. Yep. You'd, yeah, you okay. can either get seven people and Torok, or... All right, Torok, or... I'll take one for the team, y'all. You know, Torok, I'm going to be a bit of a pain. Is that okay? <laughs> I all want right. to have sex with all these people. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do it. Originating from you, making a so constitution saving throw for all of those guys, please. So constitution save for you, Torok. Are you supposed to move, Zaza? Into oh, the was mix? I supposed to move? I... Not you. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't, I didn't move myself here. Yeah, oh. this, she... Just move yourself back. Uh... All right. Constitution saving throw. So uh, I'm not it. listening to you, Zaza. I'm trying to impress. What's your spell, what's your spell saving throw, Zaza? Spell, uh, spell saving DC. Uh, spell saving DC. DC. On your spell uh, page. Yeah. Right at the top of spell. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. So one, two fail. Uh, two succeed. Three succeed. Three fail. Four succeed. So four succeed, three fail. So it's these three in the di in a sort of a triangle form in the middle that succeed. Uh, these three closest to these ones succeed. So um, you are. So they all take. Oh, and you cast it at a higher level as well. So eighteen thunder damage. Oh. This guy. This guy is instantly obliterated. As is this one Ooh. and this one and this one and this one. Damn. These three succeed and take nine damage, which is still exactly what they had left. So, so <laughs> they only had nine in as a cultist. So even on a save, um, you just you 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 bring your hand back, and how do you cast this one? Same sort of motion. I go um. Thunder. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thunder. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Thunder. Oh, and as he does, this wave of poof, sonorous energy booms out from him. Uh, just the the people closest, their eardrums poof, explode out their heads, and they fall down oh. to the ground. Uh, Toro, what about your, Toro? Your, your yeah. Save? Um, yeah, do I do I take any damage? Did what? What was your constitution save? Um, yeah, you haven't made it yet. Nice. <laughs> oh no! Uh, uh, so you take you take full damage, which is eighteen thunder damage. Oh. Boom, it, it vibrates through your body like the sound wave of a um of an, uh, a grenade blowing up nearby. Woo! You feel it. In, you feel it in your lungs as some of the the, the lungs. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. Um, you take eighteen it. points of damage. Brick can and heal you on her turn. I can't. You take 18 do points of damage, and you, and you and you snap out of this uh, seduction that you were you in. Got me in out of seduction. I'll take that. Oh. Uh, okay, cool. So 18. So I've, I've lost my eight temporary hit points, and I'm down to 22 HP. Oh, that's not too bad. Nice. That's, that's okay. Yeah. All right. Nice work. Nice work, Zaza. Um, uh, can, so... can I? Can I, uh, Zaza, can I ask you for a request? Can you drop the cloud of daggers so I can nip through the alleyway on my next turn? Sure. Alfie, you're up next. Cool. And cloud of daggers d d diminish. And you <laughs> drop the cloud of daggers. All right. So uh, Zaza's turn is over. Alfie, you're up. Right. That is right. I'm a fucking hunter. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in order to get a run up, I... Leap over to here. Damn. She takes an attack of opportunity as you leave her melee range. Oh, oh what? God. No, not fair. <laughs> her, big, her, big, her, big, her big front um, uh, lion claws come up and <laughs> take a, a raking claw attack at you. What's your panther's AC, please? Ben, you really uh, messed up, dog. Doesn't matter. Shut up. It's not going to hurt. Panther's AC. Where the hell do I find that out? Um, Panther on there somewhere. Oh, armor class, uh, 12. 12, yeah. No, um, so she, she rakes out, but you're too, you're too quick and nimble and you jump, <laughs> jump, jump out of her reach. Shame. 
I'll be right. nimble. So I run to here, which use it should have used about 20. Oh, hang on, what was it? It was like yeah, it was 20 feet, which leaves me 30. Mm-hmm. Well, it's about 25, I think. No, yeah, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I've been here before. You were next to her. Otherwise, <laughs> she would have got attack on you. There you go. 23 feet, let's say. You've got 27 left. 27 left. Okay. And then you jump back. Yeah, so I jump back and I and I pounce her and attack her with a claw. <laughs> yeah, right. boy. Hey, what you, was from moving so you, you, you've got the two things you leap off of here and then you just bounce off of the corner of this. Poof, use that force yeah. to jump back. And with, <clears throat> out come the panther claws and you try and rake it down in front. Yeah. Yeah. Because I need I need twenty feet of run up to use a oh, counter attack, right. which can yep. bring her down if I if I'm successful. Yeah. Um. So I hit her with a claw. Is that right? Yep. So make a claw attack. Oh. Eighteen will hit. Yeah, yeah boy. You reach <laughs> right down the front. Um. What? Uh. Six damage. Cool. And she that takes... that brings her down, right? Oh, she has uh, to she take has... A, She has to do a strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Strength. She looks like she's pretty strong. Uh, 18, that'll beat your DC. So she, she manages to stay on her feet, especially having four of them. Um, and so she, she doesn't go down. Uh, okay. But you did damage right. her at least. All right. And then I can use my bonus action to dash away. Is that right? Uh, and then, but is that a thing for a panther? Or? Didn't you say you that just... was a thing I could do? You used oh, your action. A you used your you action, action earlier to do it. Yeah. You used your action to already attack. Ah, uh, ha. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> if you didn't use the action to attack, you could use your action to get extra movement. But, right. Um, no. Bonus action sure. dashing is only for rogues and monks and some. Right, right, right. All right. So that's Alfie. Uh, oh, it is now right, because I moved before, but I didn't use an action, which is why I could. Correct. Action. Which is then you doubled your movement. Gotcha. All right. So then it is the uh, rest of the cultists. Let me uh, bring this guy around. He's now pulling up the field. This guy's also coming onto the field here. Oh. Um, this one down here comes up a little bit. All right, now they've seen that you're no longer seduced by them, uh, Torok, you are fair game for the daggers. All right. So they start moving in and attacking you equally. All right. So let's see, these two Bring. go for Zaza. On. Another, one. Another one for Zaza. Oops, I'm grabbing Zaza there. So one, two, three, four on Zaza. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four on Torok, one, two, three, four, five, uh, let's say six on on Bar because they're really trying to take her down. Um, Can I see, so, what, what are they, what's, Brett, what is your HP and Zaza? Have you guys taken any damage? I just can't see the uh, I've got, oh, I, it's just been my bonus health. I'm, I'm all, all gravy at the moment. I guess we... I'm on uh, like, cultists. Uh... So first one's on, first one's on Zaza. Uh, you take okay. Dagger, that's an 11 to hit, 11 won't hit, I don't think. Uh, then it's a 19, you take two points of slashing damage. Um, okay, cool. And then it's an 11 again, and then a 15, five, five points of slashing damage. Oh, so man, I'm so, I'm a bit totem was very helpful, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> Another, now that's, so that, that brings me down to one. I'm on 12 uh, health left. And then on oh. Torok, uh, you've Jeez. got one, two, three, four. That's on not you. great. Uh, oh, Torok, that was a, that was and a I'm out of spells. Torok, that was five damage. Okay. Uh, and then four damage. No, and no, that's that, that no, second no, no, one. That second one missed, surely. What? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I missed that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Sorry, uh, I was just looking at the damage, not the attack. Um, so twenty-one hits with five, and then the miss. Then that one misses. Then the next one got a natural twenty though, and got six points. Oh, eleven. Yeah. Uh, and then the last guy. Where's my dagger? There it I'll is. Be, oh oh shit! Oh, shit. It I've like taken a lot of, of damage. You allowed you allowed them to get pretty close with them being seductive and trying to trying to get you into bed, and so you were already like, "Ooh, allowing them to get hands on." And then as soon as you're like, as soon as you're like blasted out of it, they like and they stick a knife in. I'm down so to four get... HP. Oh Ooh, crap! Yeah. Britt yeah, might, wait, Britt might wait, be able how, to heal oh, you wait. on her turn. I don't think I can. No, no, no. I don't. I don't think you. You had twenty two, didn't you? And then I was down 18, because I got hit three times. 5, 6, 11, plus 7 is 18. 22 minus 18 is 4. 4. 4. 4 yeah. points. Ouch. Um, hang on. I've got that maneuver. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. When a creature misses you. Okay, what have I got? 
Oh, you've got your stones endurance. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. I know I've got something that's gonna help this. <laughs> I can't remember which one it is. You um, when you take damage, you can shrug off reaction to roll a d12. Yeah. So can I try this? You can focus yourself to occasionally shrug off injury. When you take damage, yeah. you can use your reaction to roll a d12. So that last one did seven damage to you. So as it's coming in, you're feeling it's going to hurt a lot, and so you <clears throat> you tense up your stomach in a, a very Goliath way. So roll Good. a d12. And we'll reduce the seven by that. Oh, so oh. you only take you, you only take five damage from that last attack. <laughs> Good. Well, at least I can move my HP up to six. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Um, All right. Nice. Real Jesus. nice. Uh, wow, that was bad. And then, and then is it a six part? Uh, when that happens. Dice? No, that's not a superiority dice. No, nah, that's not. Um, a, no, no, no. Okay. Um. All right, and then the six attacks on Barb. Barb. Here we go. Uh, eleven will miss. Todok, what was did all of those definitely hit you with the added, yeah, twenty one and two twenty threes, yeah. So yeah, they all yeah, hit you even with the shield of faith. Yeah, yeah. Just remember that I wasn't using that. Um, so an eleven will miss. Uh, then a five will miss, and then these guys have got terrible things. Uh, thirteen, you didn't give yourself the shield of faith, so thirteen will hit. That's going to be two points of damage, Bab. <clears throat> and then an eight will miss, and a twenty two, so another four points of slashing. And then an 11, so yeah. So a total of six points of slashing damage from <laughs> people hacking at your reindeer legs at the front of you. Right. Um, that is right. the cultist, I believe. That's all of right. them. Uh, oh, and this guy over huh. here by you, 22, will, uh, 14, sorry, will take an attack on you. Um, he's going to use dagger, but he's actually a guard, so he's going to wave, so that damage is a little more. I wish so I could say I was going to heal you. Don't be... worry. But he only so, rolled. Uh, he only rolled a seven anyway. Three, so. three, uh, oh, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, little man. Ah, he hits you with the the butt of his glaive, but he's not able to get it into a place where you can actually uh, you can actually hit you. So that's that. Torok, you're up. Move away from me, please. Wow. I, I have to stab someone next. My next round. I I can't <laughs> leave where I am because yeah, everyone will get a pack of opportunity, move. and then oh, I'll yeah, get so fuck. messed up. Um. So. All right, partner, keep on rolling, baby. I'm, I'm, ho I'm hoping, Brett, that I can get to Mr. Mustachio on my next turn and kill him. Kill him. <clears throat> he, didn't, he didn't hear me say that, by the way, so he's not going to run away before then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he might be running away from you because you're a big eight-foot-tall metal man that's trying to kill him, but... <laughs> no, I'm just going to swing my way out of this, the Torok, Torok star. I'm just going ah, to... Two-hand battle axe! On, um, I don't, the, the mask dude is. G g give it a give it a swing. You might get more than one person to yeah, rock to exactly. rock's rolls. We um, we're gonna do it. We're yeah, gonna if go. You, uh, if you overkill them, then they might you might get problem. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty will hit. Uh, four damage to any one of them. I'll pick one. Um, um four seems two. like not a lot for a two-handed great axe for a Goliath fighter, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at him, right? Look at him. He's completely surrounded. It's it's pretty hard to swing a two-handed battle axe. It's true. But when the when the little cultists with the daggers are like, six, five, and you're like, oh, four. It's because if you do... hover over it, Ben, he rolled a one plus his three. I'm going to do oh, disarming, right, right. disarming attack at the same time. Uh, oh, yeah, cool. When you uh, hit a creature with a weapon, I can... Strength so saving easy. throw. Uh, eight. That's not going to do it. He he uh, drops his his dagger. Um, it goes flying off to the side as you smack him. He brings his dagger up and it just knocks it out. He hits into his shoulder a couple yeah. of inches, ah! and his dagger goes flying. Nice. So uh, what are you going to do now, real boy? Nice. Real nice. Yes. Okay, I'll just drop superiority dice down to three. Do I need All to right. roll a super superiority dice for that? Oh yes, that's that one damage. Yeah. Cool, so I do more. So do I just roll a D8 for that, is that right? Yeah, 1D, 1D8 for the superiority um, damage. Four. An extra four, so that will be eight. So he's on one hit point, that guy. <laughs> Damn it! You, you almost kill him. Instantly. You almost kill him. <laughs> it digs into his into his shoulder all the way to the clavicle. Ah, his, his arm goes limp. He's entirely incapable of using that arm now. All right, and well, he's not a threat anymore. So no, he's, he's, he's out of there. Go home. Um, you can just go home. Have a nap. Anything else, Torok? <laughs> um, I think that's it for all Torok. 
All right, so it's Timus' turn. Uh, he doesn't like that you're coming at him, big metal man. So he what he's that. going to do... Of course he knows that. <laughs> he, he heard you clanging across the, the, the floor. <laughs> like, 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 and then shouting across the plaza. Can you drop the cloud of daggers so I can nip through here? Then he, then he throw a javelin at, at him as and well? Then, yeah, and you threw a javelin at him. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Guys, shh, he doesn't know I'm coming. <laughs> so instead, he's going to pop around the corner and uh, and he's going to hold his hand out. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. He's so going to try and seduce again. What? Uh, no, he's no longer trying to seduce. He's, doing he's giving up on the seducing. He's realized that's not going to work against the big yeah. guy. Uh, here comes wisdom. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, that will save. So you you feel him entering your your mind's eye, and your muscles, uh, your your um, cogs and things seem to not be obeying your own command for a second. They just seem to be paralyzed. But then your you sort of reboot and and you take control of your own body again. Sorry, I can't even see this guy. I, I just mentioned this guy as the barber. Like he just looks like a barber to me. Sorry. Like <laughs> a really well groomed uses, mo. And he like... uses his movement to climb back over here and climb up the ladder uh, onto the balcony, um, uh, where he can. Try and get a little bit of safety, I guess. God damn it. Um, that is going to be his turn. I don't think there's much else he can do. So then it is the Lamia's turn. All right. The panther in front of her is giving her a bit of a hard time. You've already no, succeeded I think against it's that fine. one. Just, just leave her alone. Focus on the others, probably. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. She doesn't want to be too uh, single single focused but it is going to be the best thing for her so she is going to say um all right then if not the reindeer how about that metal man of yours maybe you should attack him instead wisdom saving throw please uh, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. nice disadvantage again uh, you call you, me you loyal. Even, <laughs> this time you don't even you don't even consider it. You're like, no, why would I do? Why would I do this? Why would I? What are you talking about? You have the worst arguments. <laughs> this, this what are you going to take so your friend? How about no? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the oh, whole reason man. that she tried to was to give you disadvantage on all of these wisdom saves that she was going to be making, and she and it didn't, it's not help. <laughs> all right. Uh, so you you withstand the attack uh, the the uh, attempt. And so that is all that she can do. She is going to, um, what's her movement? She can't outrun you as a panther, so she's not going to try. 14, you're up. Uh, Get him! I'm going to quite happily leave this little dude's melee range. And uh, right. I'm going to walk past here. And as I walk past here, I'm picking up, actually, I've already got four javelins in my inventory, but just in case, <laughs> I'm going to be picking up the one that I just missed yeah, I was getting wasted. earlier. So I'm gonna walk past there. Hit for shit. And ah, you pick up the javelin just so it's not wasted. Yeah, and I stand in perfect plain sight of this guy. <laughs> like, come at me, bro. No obstructions. This guy's probably still climbing the ladder. Yeah, he, out, yeah, exactly, under. exactly. And I'm like, dude, stop. <laughs> You're about to can die. Here we go. And I. Why I, won't you just listen? Why won't you die? Um, and I buff a javelin at him. Damn it. Right. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. Will, 11 will not hit, unfortunately. <laughs> it, just, it, smashes, it smashes through the, uh, the, the, the wooden shutters of the door behind him. Um, uh, into the room. How far did I move? I moved 16, so I'm going to move another 12. Wait, 14, oh, right. sorry. Uh, the, closer you, the closer you get to the balcony, the more cover he has from you, because he's obviously above you on a balcony. Oh, that, that's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm just moving to keep pace with them, basically. Sweet. Cool. All right. Um, excellent. So that is 14's turn. Barb, you're up. Um, so we got to kill them all, so we got to get through Sorry, sorry Barb. Quick. I was hoping to kill him before your turn, but I did. That's okay. Who am I stabbing today? Has anyone got some sort of like inbuilt thing that's not on the character sheet that's just like a kill? Like can I just everyone? Can I just can I kind of throw a bomb down on the ground or something and just like deal with all these guys? <laughs> I use light do dynamite. Bomb in your <laughs> <laughs> um, do I do my my stabby thing now, or can I? What do I do? Oh yes, thank you for reminding. You know, me. you know, in Diablo he has, three, um, he is not taking mate. any damage, so he the yeah. crown of madness is still on. Uh, so you feel 
you feel you, you hear Todok just like slaughtering people left and right. Oh, I'm so and you sorry. just you just think I just hate that this stupid dumb idiot is is what calls a friend these days. I used to be I used to be the cult leader of an entire clan. I used to I used to own all of these people and I'm so furious and this stupid idiot behind me is the one that's and you turn around and try oh, to stab him. God. And he doesn't oh, wear any God. pants. <laughs> Bob, what are you doing? I'm crying. I think I you might go down again. here, Alan. Make a dagger what? attack. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. So how did it's this come about? Place. I just suddenly heard you talking like how did this come about? I've She's got, still I've wearing got... the iron crown of madness. Oh, so I'm being mind yeah. controlled. Ready? Everyone pray. Twelve. Yes. Wait, yes. that's two, right? Twelve. That's twelve oh twelve, not... shit. Twelve will not hit. Twelve will you know you are heavy. Yes. Yes. Twelve. 12, but I, I see what you're it. trying to do, and I'm not happy about it. I'm not <laughs> doing it intentionally, though. Wow, okay, what the I'm gonna... fuck? So, uh, because Alan, when he was creating the character, uh, decided to give him no armor and instead outfit him with a thousand weapons, um, a, 12, a 12 would have actually hit him uh, if it wasn't for your, sh your own shield of faith that you gave him on the last round. So you, you drive down your dagger, and it's, it looks like it's aiming for somewhere vital. Just as he turns around, he's not expecting to be attacked from behind. Um, and he sees it coming. Ah, he's not able to get it to block it in time. But then the the glowing radiant energy poof, bursts and knocks your knocks your dagger to the side. And as soon as it does, you become yourself again. You still have nice. your movement and bonus action. I'm going to use my bo bonus action, the spiritual weapon. And I'm All right. Just and so that's sixty feet. So can I cast that up to? Do we want it here, guys, or do we want it at the top of where she is? What, what does it do? What is it? It creates um, it, a it creates a weapon. A spiritual weapon that, that like can move on its own and things. Oh, oh sweet. Cool. Oh. We, how far am I? Wait, this never works for me. I'm trying to measure myself. Oh. You can select wait. the measure tool from the left hand side as well. Oh, it's that roller. Yeah. Third one down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll, that's Oof, six, nice. 56. It's bang on. So we'll cast it up, up around here somewhere. Next to her. Uh, yeah, right behind her. So you yeah. have you have the ability to drag it onto the pitch. Oh, you should. Oh, I do. Wait, let me check. Give you all. Oh, give oh, you all it. your tokens for, for your magic uh, uh, spells and things. There it is. Oh, sorry. All right. I meant to there it is. Is. Um, down there. But... Can you make a religion check for me? Yep. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I don't have two screens like you guys, so I have to like click between <laughs> six hundred <laughs> different things, and it's just a nightmare. God, get two screens, bro. Oh, I oh. honestly, I just. God. Don't you know there's way, like my new my new screens just arrived just like this, but I went to go to the door. Oh, I got my new screens. I see. Nice. Let's go. Let's go, religion. Are you are you uh, aware that if you have your character sheet up and you double click on the the like header bar, the name of it, it just reduces mm. it and turns it transparent, so that it's still on the pitch and easy accessible, oh. but does not disappear entirely. Oh, that's what I've been doing the whole oh, time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know you, you could do that. that. that was, that's handy. Yeah. Yeah, what I did I was just put it on my other screen. Mentioned... <laughs> <laughs> well, some of us don't have one. Some of us are rooted. With a fourteen, with a fourteen religion, uh, you you do you you're about to cast a spell, and so you dig down deep to the pool of magic where it comes from. You hear the two conflicting voices, but this time, Gross senses the the call, oh, shit. and you feel and you feel your spiritual weapon, which would have perhaps taken. What what do you reckon the tree of life would use as a weapon? What what kind of what would be the, um, the iconic weapon? Like, a mole a or a big willow. No. <laughs> Just a big old branch. <laughs> um, well, this time it becomes uh, Graz's weapon, which you know as a as an old cultist of Graz is like a curved sort of wavy greatsword that drips in acid. And so this right. this, this this curved uh, greatsword drip, drip, dripping in acid uh, appears next to the Lamia. And when you cast it, you can make an attack with it. <laughs> and then on every subsequent bonus action, you can make an attack with it. Attacking. So what is I think that? If you click on the spiritual weapon on your as a spell on your spell spell sheet. Okay, it's right down the bottom, of course. Yes. And then I cast it at level two. Ten. Thirteen. All right. So the thirteen to hit. Thirteen will just hit. That is just enough. Nice. As she's as she's kind of trying to suggest to this panther in front of her, maybe you should go and hit your friend. She's kind of distracted. She hears this. <laughs> As this uh, this this weapon materializes out of nowhere, she seems to recognize it, and then what is no? And she realizes too late that it's not being it's not her casting it this time, um, and it strikes down next to her and hits her for ten points of force damage. Wow! Yeah. Strikes through her back end. Yeah, boy. 
Boy. Very cool, very cool. Yeah. She is not looking uh, at all wounded yet. She's got pretty what? tough. Uh, she's got pretty tough uh, armor and health as a as a hey, final hey. boss. <laughs> all right, and um, that is you, um, Bob. What are you? What are you doing with your? So it was a bonus action to cast spiritual weapon. So Bob, any movement? Are you staying where you are? I'm gonna stay where I am. <laughs> Zaza, you're up. Um, okay. Uh, so how how many more turns are we going to until we get to? Uh, it's you and then me and yeah. then the okay. cultists, I think. Zaza, then Alfie, then the cultists, and then we're back to the top of the round, and we'll draw it there. Uh, well, I'm, I'm out of spells. I've run out of spells. So um... you've got some great jokes. <laughs> some great jokes. <laughs> Um, You've still got cantrips, cost, remember? Cost Your cantrips cost nothing. Okay. Um, acid, acid splash. Acid uh, splash would be a good one right now because it affects two people that are standing next to each other. So, for instance, this orc and this human. Um, that's it. There it is. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Right. It is. So you you, right. you see Zaza start to wobble this this ball back and forwards as normal, but it turns into like a sickly acid green acid splash, before he acid, then, acid poof, dash, just... acid wiggity wiggity <laughs> smash. Here are plums. They have to make dexterity saving throws. Uh, that's going to be a four that fails and a, uh, a fifteen. So the second one succeeds, but this guy, yeah. So he takes four damage and uh, and is wounded. All right, um, then it is, I assume you're not moving because you'd get a lot of attacks of opportunity if you did. Yeah, I guess I won't. I'll stay right there. All right, Alfie, you're up. All right, so I do basically the same thing as last time. <laughs> I move back. She takes an attack of opportunity. Yeah, she does, yeah. Uh, uh, then... That oh. is going to be a 20 to hit, not natural. So you take 12 points of slashing damage in your panther form. Wee, <laughs> Macarena, aye! I, okay, so I think my panther has got 13, so I think... 13, right. thankfully. So you, uh, managed, yeah, to, you managed to withstand... You Woo! managed to withstand your panther form. Uh, you, you, you concentrate and, and, and keep the... Um, keep the panther alive. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Otherwise, because otherwise you're on a roof with her. And you're about to... Yeah, and you're about to... He'll just and you're up up for and he'll just fall and roll. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> All right, so you manage to, as you leave her space, you take a big slash across the hindquarters, um, but you're still, you've got the rest of your turn. Go. All right, I mean, do I stay up here then? Because if she hits me, I am fucked. Um... You still have one more uh, wild trip as well, so you can redo it again if you get a turn. Oh, right. Ah, sweet then. All right, so I keep doing that, and then I bounce her up with my claws. All right, make an attack. She'll make a strength save. Four. No, she's going down. <gasps> Yeah, boy. Oh, nice. Although my attack is only nine. Oh, she would go down if you hit. Unfortunately, <laughs> with the, the claws coming in, she strikes out with one claws, and then she sees you doing it. She, you've done it now twice, and she's getting ready for it. So she brings the other claw up, and poof, you claw into her oh, forearm no. and dig the claws in. But it doesn't. It's not enough to hurt her too bad. Damn it. Darn it. No, but does the pound mind, still mind, take her down, down, or does the attack have to hit for the pound? No, it has to. Yeah, it has to hit. Damn. Damn it. That sucks. That would have um, been. That would have been awesome because I was I was gonna then have to roll to see if she even fell off the roof instead of yeah, just falling right. prone. She might have she might have actually slipped off the roof as well, and then the people in melee can actually get to her. Uh, so then it is the cultist's turn. I'm gonna um, die. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. I feel like maybe this is the better cliffhanger to leave it on. Yeah. yeah maybe maybe so I can be alive for just like a few seconds of the. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, will, we will. We will. We uh, will. Ah! We'll pick up here. Next time Next for part time. two of the finale. <laughs> Didn't expect awesome. this to go quite so long. I was I was desperately trying to hurry you guys the fuck along with the jackal fight because I was like, I know <laughs> another big fight. This I was trying to just avoid the there. whole jackal fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, come uh, on. Can you shut the hell up? <laughs> thank you, thank you, everyone, for coming yeah. along and watching. We'll leave it there for this week, um, and then next week we'll see the exciting conclusion to the showdown with Talia. Yeah, and hopefully all of us live, Alan. <laughs> I'm out of magic. Ooh, I don't know about that. I'm also um, out of magic. Thanks to, huge thanks to D&D and Wizards of the Coast. You guys are awesome. Uh, thanks to Rob, our DM. Great job. Yeah, Rang hey, us. Thanks, to, thanks to the players for being awesome. And thanks for uh, all the um, all the people watching. And this will be yeah. up on our YouTube channel uh, in a few days. Yeah. Final installation part five coming. Yes. If so, and again, if you guys want to check out D&D, there's a link in the description below. And there's also a link to our D&D channel. So go and check that out if you haven't already. All right. 
Coat. Thanks for See coming, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.